Nah, I fucked with that. Yeah. Look at how he talks to these niggas. Yeah, yo. Yo, turn that shit up. Turn that shit the fuck up. Turn right now. Just talking that shit. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, yo. Yo. When you up and you winning, shit is awesome. Never felt real pain till a nigga lost one. If somebody take from you, what it's gon' cost them? Tired of niggas acting like they really put in work. Hit a boss, come be yourself. It'll do you better in the long run. And see yourself staring down a barrel of a long gun. Some rappers never had no street cred, so they bought some. Pause. <laughs> I had to think Not about it for a second, bro. Oh my god, I'm gonna Not get on this nigga nerve the whole time. Yo, you know, like, 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 like your map, hold up, your map. You was like this, you was like, yo, he 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 like, yo, he was 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 like, yo, 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 yo
Right. Ignorance I can forgive because you just don't know. you don't know. No, 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 There's no. I'm talking shit. about it's not cool willful to be ignorant. ignorant. No, willful per- ignorance purposefully. Is yes. Yes. It's not. Yes, yes. It's, it's you cool. want to be willfully ignorant? It's yeah. cool to be ignorant because everybody is. Yeah. It's not okay to stay that way. It's not okay to put your head in the sand and be happy that you don't mm-hmm. know some shit and be I right with that. That's Everybody's ignorant of something. Yeah. Staying that way, you shouldn't be comfortable with that. You just Absolutely, shouldn't. I agree. It's fucking weird. It's weird to mm-hmm. want to be dumb. So you know what? I think we should start implementing things to educate people on the show. I mean, we we do educate people as far as like, you know, c- certain topics and exposing different information, things going on in the world. Mm-hmm. But maybe we should have like a word of the episode. Oh, for the oh, love! Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh man, I, I'm with that. Who, oh, who's down with that? Okay. Hold on, let me see. I tried that word of the day shit like two years ago. Yeah, I'm about to say. I stopped like by the I'm about to say, I'd be week. down for it, but I feel like we so lost as a people. I don't even bother no more. Mm-hmm. But I'm the type of person, if I hear a word that I don't know, I go look it up immediately. Yes. Smart. In a movie, yes. show, Smart. radio. That's why I like to read. Yeah. Because uh, Wilson didn't tell me about audiobooks, and I was like, I'd rather read because if I see a word I don't know, I'm going to go look it up. Mm-hmm. If, I, if, if I hear a word I don't know, I'm still just yeah. going to keep. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I might be like, oh, what was that? But if okay. I'm listening to an audiobook, no, I'd rather read. I highlight the shit. Mm-hmm. Write the shit down so I can remember it. Well, that you know, you you ladies are rather exceptional Man. rappers, right? Yeah, so, vocabulary is already. Yeah, Who's so is that? That's and, yours? And I got a word. The idea that you want to expand it, it mm-hmm. doesn't really. But I got that from my mother when I was younger because uh, hold, hold on, y'all. I got, I got a word. A, a white school, so she was like, "You're not gonna go in front of these people, act like you don't have no education." I know that. So right. I always made sure After my this, vocabulary. I'll tell you where I got my vocabulary. Oh, I got, from I got a word. Show. So the word of the episode is. <laughs> How did you get this word? Gonzo. <laughs> Gonzo. This is random. And the definition is, of or associated with journalistic writing of exaggerated, subjective, and fictionalized style. Can, can okay. You, you That's crazy. I never knew that. Sentence, but I only knew Gonzo example? to be on some porn shit. Hold on, let me see. I knew Gonzo for <laughs> Sesame Street. Right. That's right. I know Gonzo from Sesame Street. Yeah. That's, That's the only Gonzo I know. Yeah. I would love to hear that. I fucked with Sesame Street. Sesame Street. Muppet, Muppet, Muppet Baby. Muppet, 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 Muppet Baby. Muppet Baby. Muppet Baby. It's descriptive, but we know that word as a name. So that's why I'm proud of the sound. The sentence. Wow, you see how smart. The long way ahead of a time. Okay, here's, here's how you use it. Nah. Here's how you use it in a suits. sentence. The longtime columnist was known for his Gonzo writings. Okay. That Gonzo mural down the street is bringing a lot of people who want to take photos. Okay. So it's like some who says that some bro? wacky bozo no, type shit. I don't even hear white. That's why that nigga nose is long. Yeah, Gonzo. <laughs> okay. Fiction, it's fi- fictionalized. Nice. I get it. Bro, I get it. Shit like that. I don't that's think not a good word, though. It's a word, is it? It's fictionalized. Mm-hmm. That's not a good I word. I fucks with that though. It is now. Gonzo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fictionalizes this word too. I fucks with them niggas on Sesame Street. <laughs> so shout out to you niggas that's been doing blogs on me, <laughs> you Gonzo ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used it. Yeah, I used it. You ready? I'm not gonna. Yeah, you we Gonzo started. ass niggas. Oh, we started. We did, but you know. All right, we back. First episode. My expert opinion, the greatest show winner. Twenty twenty four. You know I had to throw the Kobe on. It's twenty twenty four. Shout out to everybody that's been tuning into the show. I know you guys got goals. I know you have things that you want to achieve this year. Many blessings to you. I wish you much hope, dedication, and the the strength and will to see it through, to reach your goals, and to stay blessed. Um, let's start this off with a toast. Man, we, we already know. You know, you know. Mac used to be got be an alcoholic and <laughs> fuck this shit up, so. <laughs> I'm into a hater. I'm a, I'm a hater. Oh, we're gonna get it, there, man, we're gonna get there. Uh, 2024, uh-huh. 2020 more. I like that. Facts. All the way to the top. Cheers. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir
good. <laughs> Speaking of haters. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Oh. Right. Oh. <laughs> well, no so, haters. You're supposed to incorporate no haters. Hater. Hater, oh. I, I, just, I just felt that. Uh, I'm going to stop. 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 go by. We're just going to have you play a beat. Just, yeah, man. Yeah. Like it, it, It's all about how I feel, bro. Yeah, you, you, you kind of lost the hate. I've been thinging to that song all, all day. Now nah, 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 he's just doing beats. Like, it's not, I don't got nothing just, to do with the hater shit. I, I mean, I, could, I, I mean, it's nothing to incorporate it. Like, Did she have one? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. CB. Champ, boy. Yeah, the mm. uh, CB. The Chris camera really like the way you're feeling, but whatever. The camera guy said there's a glare that, that keeps messing up the Get the fuck out of here. From this? So, yeah. yeah. Bro, <laughs> both y'all niggas. Why you think it's funny? So we here, 2024. Um, I wanted to, to bring up something, but first, Meg, how are you? Salute, Ken. How was your New Year's? Uh, pretty good. Shout out to Deuce Does down in the DMV area for teaching me how to shoot properly. Uh, pistol licenses, uh, rifles, the whole thing at the range. Thank you very much. I'll be coming back for more lessons. That shit was fire. If you're in the DMV area, Deuce Does is the dude's name. Great business. Deuce Does down in the DMV area. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's very what you worried. said. <laughs> Tongue twist. He was like, shout out to Deuce Does down in the DMV. <laughs> <laughs> so what we doing? You starting the show like this? I'm really, really good at that. Yeah. Shout out to Deuce Does down in the DMV area. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Deuce, you owe me a check. Um, how, was, how, how was shooting? Like, how, how good is your shooting? Um, I'm better. I'm better with uh, smaller pistols because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You said kickback? With a 45, no. That you got to gotta aim low just a little bit. You actually press in with one hand and the hand you hold in with, you press forward and you meet it in the middle right, and I got squeeze. I got way better once I once I applied that. But that right. was Deuce. That was Deuce telling me. Right. I yeah. had a I had a bullseye with a desert eagle one time. That's mm. crazy. Yeah. That's nice. crazy. Yeah. That's and crazy. You still got a shoulder. <laughs> yeah, no, the kickback is <laughs> yeah, stupid. No but joke. Deuce walked me through all that. He told me what was gonna like it's very informative. It's not like, you know, get up there and Rambo out. It's very informative, very okay. Right. Here's how this works. Here's what you can expect. First time shooting, okay, here you go. Take this and we'll work our way up. It was, it was super dope. I advise that all you homeowners that's, that's watching, um, all the people who have a family to protect, if it's legal in your state, go out and get educated on how to use that thing properly. All right? What I want to do is get a trip together where we all go. Oh, that'd be lit. We all like all of us in the chairs, right? Word. I love gun range. Like all yeah, of us. Yeah, let's there. do it. Sure. Like let's do it. No, no, no. I, I, I'm I know you there. Why not sure. answer? We that's it. Yeah, I'm going there. Because, because every I, time I go to Atlanta, I go there. I'm not. No, see, I'm going to the DMV. I'm not going. To see, I want to go. You have to. So pull up. Vegas got the best shit. I am about to say that's the first time I went to a gun range. Vegas got the best shit. I love it. They get everything. I gotta go back. I went with during quarantine. During okay. quarantine, I must, yeah, so a I lot of things were closed. Deuce was like between the assortment of guns he had to shoot, the range that we were at, which was outside. We shot regular time of the day, and then we did low light, no light shooting, which was super crazy. And you was outside? Yeah. Oh, okay. Super, which mm. which is where you have to figure most gunfights are going to yeah, take yeah, place. Yeah. You're going to be outside, so mm -hmm. you might. And this was all him. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is okay. him walking me through. Right. I'm mm -hmm. like, shouldn't we be further back? Three feet, three shots. You're not gonna be mm -hmm. really far away from your target like okay. that. Three mm -hmm. feet, three shots. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. You don't practice from way back. You practice from. Right. Mm. I never thought of that. Unless you brandish him from across the street, yeah. like, yo, nigga, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, who's the that? That? <laughs> so, yo, shout what's out. To, you, like, once, one more time, shout out to Deuce Dust. Thank you so much, King. I'll down be back. It was super dope. Down in the DMV. You might want to get down. Just Deuce Dust down in the DMV. Okay, yeah. cool. Gat, how you feeling, sir? What's up? I feel good. You know what I mean? Okay. Enjoy my New Year's with the family. Turned up, locked in, got a lot of work done. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just about it. Regular shit. Yeah. Shout out to my man, Bo Mayo. He got that new eye shit out. Shout out to the Star Babies, my man, Yellow Zoo. And my man, O Wave, Herbie. What's up? Regular shit. I just dropped a new record with me, M.O.P. and Uncle Murder. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. For the new we'll year. take your shit. Congrats. Take your shit. <laughs> I love that Back shit. outside, baby. Yes. Love that shit. Love that. Shout out to the gang gang, Tiff Lux in the building, Brooklyn all day, you know. Um, my man, my man A Boogie without the hoodie. Well, you got the hoodie on. With the thing. hoodie. <laughs> Money dreams and all Money that. Money dreams. Hey, all the way. And I got, hold on. Hold I'm good. On. You, can, you can keep going, I'm good. <laughs> Let's get to them. 
Okay, cool. Let's get to that. that. 2024, I ain't saying shit. We got my man G Stats in the building. Yes, one click bang. G Crown Stats. Heights in the building. Crown Heights. Legendary. Stacks. Brooklyn. How you get here, Stacks? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Outside. 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 That's my guy. That's my guy. One click bang, 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 all that. All that. Oh, Champ, how was your New Year's? I got fucked up. <laughs> like, I haven't got fucked up like that since I came you to your crib. To my crib. That's why I didn't come to your crib, nigga, because I was mm. fucked up. I started sleeping in my car. What you want me to do? Mm -hmm. The fuck? I, went, I was at fucking Brooklyn Chop House, fucking turning up, and I was like, yeah, after the ball job, I'm going to shoot to your crib. But I fell asleep in my car, bro. I was fucked up, I man. Like that. Crazy. Jay Hyde, man. He's getting older, man. I'm not I even like shouting out Jay Hyde. That's my brother. I love you, bro. But yeah. I don't know what he put in them shots, bro. He gave me like two shots and I was done. That's crazy. I was mm. done. Did, 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 did wifey believe that or was it? Of course she believed that. She believed it? What the fuck? Because okay. right. I said it. Well, whatever works for you, buddy. Fuck? I was fucked up in the car, bro. I, I felt insulted because I gave out invitations like, like Willy Wonka and the Golden Ticket. You don't get many of these. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm special, man. So you know good. that. I'm special so ed, bro. You know I'm special so ed, bro. I'm telling the doorman don't let person. you up no more. Like, Nigga, sell. I'm special ed. <laughs> I'm in special ed. You know that, bro. I'm still learning, man. <laughs> Tonight, we have two female MCs. Yes, we're starting, starting this year off a little bit different. Uh, we definitely want to get more females in the shop. I'm saying females. More women. women. Yeah. More women. More queens mm -hmm. in the shop. And these two, uh, one of them I've known for years. She's a battle legend. And the other one I've seen tearing freestyles up for years. On stage with 50, <laughs> doing a motherfucking thing. We got Kaya Baby and Shayna Ashley. This is ladies night. Kaya said the new year. Right, it's ladies night. It's ladies, 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 ladies night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, yes, right. Right. That's your damn right. shape. Oh, oh what a night. night. Oh, what a night. night. Come on, man. Y'all yeah, supposed to eat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we did a remix to that song, too. Oh, you did? We sure did. It was oh, dope, dope, too. You, you know? it was Farrah, Shuni, <laughs> and J Smooth. I got to tap right. into that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, battle, female battle rap. <laughs> Hell yeah. That shit is different. Monsters. Word. Monsters These over here. be destroying each other's lives and they're hugging at the end. Like, <laughs> right after. Since I love you. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, it's, it's a sport. It's the same with sports. <laughs> same thing with basketball players. Y'all get on the court. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go at it. And then afterwards, y'all going out to dinner. Right. Mm -hmm. So we can Not, not everybody. Uh, yeah. Most people. Cut cut James out. Johnson ain't going to dinner with you. He's going to fuck you up. Nah, James. But <laughs> 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 well, speaking of basketball, y'all both started out. Playing basketball. Yeah, yeah. What was that like? Um, for me, like my family played ball, so just growing up watching them, it was something I um I just grew up loving. Um my cousin used to take me to the park every day after school. So me seeing him play ball, I'm like, oh now nah, I wanna do that. Mm -hmm. You know, um Asked my mother to get me a basketball. I locked myself in a room until I could put that ball between my legs. You hear me? Oh. I said, I ain't coming out this mm. No! Herman. No! Oh, 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 come on! That's <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. 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 back to this shit. Hey, you can't even say pause for that. The school was going great oh. until you said it. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was, it was always going to happen. It was always going to happen. Anyway. It's inevitable here. It's inevitable. Anyway, so I learned to dribble the ball, you know, and then I was able to- The basketball. 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 You, did? you, <laughs> you, me? Started. you know what I'm saying? Um, and then ever since then, I played for junior high school, high school. Um, I was going to do walk on for college, but I decided not to. Um, and I just love it. It's one of the best things, you know what I'm saying, that I ever decided to do. Yeah, I don't, I genuinely don't know where my love for basketball came from. Nobody on my mom's side plays basketball at all. Mm -hmm. I have, like I told you, my mom has 11 sisters. So Damn. I grew up predominantly women. Of course, you know, a few of them had husbands, but they wasn't ballers. I was the oldest grandchild mm -hmm. and everything, so I didn't have no... My cousins on my dad's side did. Uh, right. G-Money, shout out to G-Money. Uh, my cousin PJ, Derek, they did, but I, like I said, I didn't really grow up heavy with them, so I don't know where playing ball came from. When I was younger, I've been doing that shit since I was like five years old. Yeah. And yeah. Um, thankfully, I did have a supportive family that was supportive in it. Because, you know, most moms mm -hmm. would be like, girl, you're a girl. You're not playing yeah. basketball. Right. Right. So <laughs> she just let me do whatever the hell I want. I played basketball hard, heavy. like she's, mm -hmm. And I'm very competitive since a kid. So mm -hmm. I made sure I was busting every nigga ass on the block. 
I was every nigga. Every nigga. Every, I was yeah. the first and only girl. Anybody from Queens who know Impact, I was the first female in Impact. Wow. I, I won a sportsmanship and hustle at a year award one year in Impact. So, so female. Heavy. I, I was the that. only female in Impact. And then as I got, so it was like fifth grade and shit, then I discovered other female things. I played for Queens of Queens. Shout out to Boss today. She played a big part of my life. Mm -hmm. Outside of basketball, there's principles and life, and morals as a woman, mm -hmm. values, respect. Mm -hmm. Like I learned a lot from that woman and, you know, being in playing basketball. But like she said, I played to high school, to college, and I just stopped. I don't know why I stopped, but I just stopped. How was the relationship with the coaches and teammates? Well, I mean, my teammates, these are some of the made a face, like, well, I, I hate as, far, as, as far as the coaches go, right? So <laughs> what happened, what had happened was I went to Manhattan Center for science and math. And that, okay. that's, that's a school known for ball. Mace went there, came, came with there. They played ball. And we had a really, really good basketball pro program. But at the time, um, my coach was leaving, right? And mm. she brought somebody else in. And this person brought girls from her AAU team. Mm -hmm. Over to pretty much take over. Now we wind up getting cool with them or whatever, but it was a it was it was some it was some movements. You know what I'm saying? Around mm -hmm. where we felt like you know we wasn't prioritized like other people was prioritized. Mm -hmm. And if our coach would have stayed, that probably wouldn't have been the case. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as my teammates go, love them to death. Still some of the closest friends I ever had. And like mm -hmm. she said, um, just those experiences, learning and growing with each other. Um, especially from all females, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and when, and being blessed to have a female coach, which right. is not a common thing amongst Rare. female um, basketball. Nine out of ten times, you're going to have a male coach. Mm -hmm. So for me to grow up with female coaches was a blessing them being able to teach me um, what I needed to do and help me get to that next level. Mm -hmm. you know? um, now, y'all talked earlier. We, we brought this up. Somehow it came up. The females don't slap each other on the butt when y'all no, playing. No, nah, I, I don't. It was always oh. like, ah, yeah, this, or maybe a, each other ah, like it was never like, things. yeah, girl. Yeah. Barely. I don't. I really do don't that remember that. Too often. I, think. <laughs> I don't recall. <laughs> you said y'all. I, I mean, not y'all, but men. The men. Right. men do the it too often. Um, and I'm just curious, like, where did that start? <laughs> not that. Because <laughs> we just realized that we never slapped each other ass back. Yeah, then. we never so thought about that. That was not a thing. And now that I think about it, y'all the only ones that do it. Even like even female volleyball players don't smack each other asses respectfully and they got like fucking thongs on so yeah, that shit is crazy <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like dot mob in here That's yeah. right. nah 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 we not doing that we not doing that listen basketball as a as a man's sport y'all need to look at yourselves and just you know what I'm saying say something y'all should be clapping niggas in ball That's that was my mission bust every nigga ass in ball everybody you every still you still got body. it I have a shot. I don't have a dribble. Still. You don't have a dribble. I, I wear nails a lot. I don't know. I haven't yeah. played, like but the bike. anytime I go somewhere arcade, that that basketball game, let's get it. I played a nigga in uh, uh, some spot called South Beach. Now we got in Queens. It used to be Olympia. They got the, the arcade pool tables. I played a nigga for a shot three times. He didn't want to lose so badly. He went to pay me three times. Now the last time was recorded on camera, so I know he got embarrassed. Mm -hmm. It's on YouTube. I busted. No, I gotta hit my homegirl for the footage. I'm gonna post it myself on my goddamn page, and he back he. He challenged me. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm about to bust your ass respectfully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time. Wah, 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 wah. Do it again. I did it again. A female jump shot would be dangerous. I said, bro, at this point, you owe me and my homegirl shots because, nigga, I just bust your ass three times in a row. You get me tired. I'm here to party. I was at Barrington Levy and shit. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to uh, <laughs> party and get drunk, like, bump yeah. o'clock. But yeah, like she said, having a female coach, that lady boss today, I hope she sees this. I haven't spoken to her in a while. Mm -hmm. Um... She used to have us writing diaries, like what we're going through in life. Mm -hmm. And she made sure she knew that if you felt like no one else was there for you, she was there. Mm -hmm. If I used to tell like, I can't make the game, I gotta ride. Nigga, we was just lapping up in that car like a fucking circus. Mm -hmm. You was coming to that game. Yep. She used to have us practice in the heat, sun, no shade. Mm -hmm. Cause you gotta, you gotta get it. Mm -hmm. You gotta get it in. And it was a team thing. Every foul shot somebody missed during the game, 10 pushers each, whole team. Cause you only We should do ups the weakest on the backboards. You just form a line. Whoever missed to 100, starting over until we did 100 straight. So mm. she taught me a lot. Discipline, teamwork, love, unity amongst females. It is possible. It's there. Talk you don't see it a lot in the music business, yeah. but it, it's there. It's okay. there. You just got to have that right coach, like she said. Translate yeah, that was one of the music. <laughs> and I used, to play, I used to play with C3, matter of fact. Oh, really? I knew C3 way before battle. Yeah, C3 fire. was on Queen to Queen. Okay. C3 used to play ball. Wow. So that's where we... Did I'm you play harassed. against anybody um, that's in the A right... Well... 
either went to the A or in the A right now? I wouldn't know because I okay. honestly didn't follow. I'm not even gonna okay. lie, but we played in a lot like Central Park classics. Mm -hmm. Man, like we played, and she mm -hmm. took as whatever we could get in because she was literally nonprofit. That was that lady's money. Yes, and whatever our parents could afford, yes. whatever tournaments we could get in, that's what we got in. Yeah. So we took and, it to Brooklyn, Harlem, was, like was heavy on that, yeah. especially like with the NACD yeah. youth. Like um, I played for Junior Knicks. That was one of the best experiences Fire. I ever had. Fire. Um, so I played against um, Epiphany Prince. You remember? You remember mm, Prince? Yes, I do. She was like that's the, crazy. She was like wow. The Jordan. Yes, out here. yes, I yes. yes. Epiphany was Epiphany was fire. Y'all never heard of Epiphany? Yeah, Prince? Epiphany was fire. No. Are y'all serious? I'm right just now? we just learning. No, yeah, yeah, we, 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 look, we, we, up. look up. Look up. Prince. Yeah, what look up. Say about ignorance. So let me let me put y'all on. So like I told you, I went to Manhattan Center on for science and math. Really great program. She went to Bertram. Remember Bertram is mm -hmm. um, oh, uh, all oh, right. So as soon as you hear Bertram, Harlem and Brooklyn had the best female uh, ball players. They had it, I'm not even gonna lie. They and never lost. Please, I can say that. Like they never lost ever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you know, my freshman year, I make varsity. I'm hearing about this girl. She's she. They say she played like a nigga. Like that's all we she heard did. about her. She played like a nigga. So we like, all right, we are gonna see what's up. <laughs> we, had, we had ballers on our team. Like yeah. nobody was scared of nobody. Y'all, this bitch. <laughs> now, I ain't even gonna hold y'all like, you know what I'm saying? I'm competitive, but I also give it up. If you nice, you nice. Yeah. So, what position you played though? I was a shooting guard. I was like a 3-4. Okay. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, they was running through um, PSAL. P P PSAL. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, by the time we got to them, we already heard about her. But I guess we was also a top team. So, the coaches, they, they did some like, some, you know, crazy shit. They didn't start her. Mm. Right? Tripped y'all. And we was home. <laughs> so the crowd going crazy. We balling them up. This nigga sub her in. She goes for like 50. She dropped 50 Jeez. on y'all. She, she was when nice. I, she when was I nasty. tell y'all, if y'all could go and look her up, this bitch was I get credit with dude. She would have bust my ass. And Everywhere. I thought it was going to have a center. Frederick Douglass, JFK. She was. That's it right there, huh? It yeah. was, I ain't even gonna lie, it was one time. I, I wanna say that Stiver said she scored 100 points. She scored 100 some points in one game. Look at that. That's what it just showed. Look shot. at that. Yo, she's pulling she up for everywhere. 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 Exactly. Everywhere. It's the weirdest everywhere. thing. Her, huh? Shannon, Bobby, Tina Charles. Like, Shannon, yes. Yes, yes. Like, yes. You get what I'm saying? Like, that That was That's the group of girls Curry. that I this, played this against. This highlight, mm -hmm. stay on outside. was the, that, Epiphany was like how they talk about Caitlyn Clark. I already knew we was gonna lose if we played against her. She was the first one. She came. Oh, I used to come in the game like, like I'm niggas got me. scared. When she walked into <laughs> no, the gym, I'm you got scared. You like, damn. Where's she mm. from? She from Brooklyn, if I'm not going. If of I'm course she is. Of course. Yes. I believe so. Yes. Yes. I believe so. I'm I'm say she's from Brooklyn. Nah, I give it to Brooklyn. Like Brooklyn and Harlem yeah. when I was coming nah, up. Nah, Brooklyn. I'm about to say Harlem. When I was coming up, there was no ballers. queen. There was no ballers in Queens like that. Female mm -hmm. wild, like C3. Mm -hmm. Um, Chamika, I remember we had a few, but it wasn't a lot. Yeah, I had maybe like two schools, like, like Cheese Bay, Cardoza. I went to those, and I went to those over for That's how I knew I was like niggas. You go those over? Yeah, bitch. What happened? What's up? But nah, shout out to Piff. Shout out. Yes. You know what I'm saying? All of them, um, it was a great time in, in basketball for mm -hmm. females. They all wound up going to the A. Yeah. You know, I played with one of the top point guards in the city. Her name was China Crosby. She wound up going to UVA, played with Monica Wright, but she tore her um both her ACLs. Mm -hmm. So she wasn't able to, but she would have been in the A too. Why y'all think why y'all think the WNBA and these other leagues that y'all discussing mm -hmm. aren't as valued Popular? or looked upon? Like the NBA. Um, one we females. I said the same. <laughs> the same as music. One we females. What is that? Yeah, because no. I mean, it, it, it has to be more than that. That's the if we had if we had like regular bra tops and short shorts, y'all were watching. There, there is the a point. league where bitches is playing in thongs and bras. <laughs> yeah, they're and like and, and they actually get more views than the WNBA. They do. You said if we if, so, they, if you if y'all wore what regular bras uh -huh. and short ass shorts and we'll get more views that's just the there's a league line. that actually does that and they get more views than the W what's it called what's it called I, <laughs> 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 what's the name what's the name Look, I couldn't Maybe. tell you but they're at, playing at, you know what the and these are chicks that actually can play that's ball that's you know what I'm saying but mm -hmm. they they getting paid a certain amount of nice. money to put on you know what I'm saying an outfit to do it so with <laughs> especially with the WNBA I think it's just um, I don't know if it was for you but growing up as a female basketball player, it was just like, you had to play a certain type of way. Yes. That's why when Piff came, she was the exception because mm -hmm. she wasn't so like, you know, um, mechanic, mm -hmm. mechanic with it. Right. I think 
coaches she just, oh, just shoot this way, dribble this way. Yep. They didn't give us the freedom like men did. So when you look at the WNBA, a lot of them is, is a bunch of like dunk. I'm about to say, we could like, dunk. It's every, it's I remember at a time, like, females was like, no dunking. I'm like, what? They didn't even want like, you to do that. So I think... No dunking? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably the reason I don't watch. And I, I'm about to say, it's because of all the... Crazy. But the bitches got it. I it's know so a lot crazy. of bitches that were watching. I said, I think they should... Nah. Nah. Yes. I think they should... Nah. I just saw... Nah. Nah. I just saw... No female. I just watched a whole nah, photo shoot. I've never seen... I just watched a whole photo shoot two days ago. I'm going to show you when I leave. I liked it. Female, high school female, they had a photo shoot. No, 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 no. That, 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 that's because they just jumping like, and the photographers yeah, just shooting. Yeah, they could, they could do it. They no, could there's do no it. female that could like, now they could probably dunk. Like, like it was a rule you cannot dunk. But you cannot if dunk. they know with the rim, and this is how I really feel. Like respectfully, I know I could shoot just as good as any nigga. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Uh -huh. But I can't jump as high. Right. As, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I feel like if they lowered the rim in the A to the point where bitches could dunk, mm -hmm. it'd be more entertaining. It would be yeah. more, entertaining. more entertaining. Yes. It's not about the skill. We know yeah. we can match yeah. our as far as skill go, but the physicality, yeah. there is a difference that creates that lack of entertainment. Naturally. Right. Yeah. Naturally. And that's not you nothing we can help as a and woman. And it's crazy like, because I know a lot of female basketball players who hate that I say that. Mm -hmm. They was like, what do you mean? Why, why, why should we have to lower that? And I'm like, y'all not getting it. It's not about proving anything. We already proved mm -hmm. that we could play ball that's why you have the WNBA right. right now we have to prove that we are just as entertaining as them mm -hmm. and if it can't be by the handle you know what I'm saying get more get more of that you gotta lower that rim yeah I'm not mad at that I wouldn't be mm -hmm. mad at just try it it may not work yeah, it may but I really think they should try lower the rim you don't, you don't get a lot of pushback for that a lot of course a lot because too many people would rather be right than happy right talk about and it stubborn. and stubborn a lot of pushback yeah, but, but yeah. here's the and thing if, you, if, you, if there was another league created that did mm. that no. Then you'll see the major leagues, the, the WNBAs look at it and be like, my, we need to take after that. Is, yeah, but it, there's a difficulty trying, to it. This is you got to get, you got to convince the people who all right. are all. Because then, then you got to have parks so with lower gotta rims convince. and all right. that. You, you, you got to create a space for that to be cultivated. That's, 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 that's not, not that hard to do. Yeah, it's not that hard to do. Most of the gyms. It's already done. Yeah, they already got the size. Lower the rims. That's all they have to do. I ain't going to front. And you know what's so crazy? You don't even got to tell niggas. If there, was know, like, if there was like, if there was like, you don't even gotta tell niggas. I'm lowering that shit two feet just one day. Niggas will notice that shit. You know what I'm saying? After a niggas while, but then after a while, they're gonna be like, "Well, did you like it?" Yeah. <laughs> oh, you keep, you know what I'm saying? Right. Keep it how it is. Wow. So <laughs> it's the only way I can do that. Like, 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 that shit. Nah, I there was a chick out there doing John ja, ja shit. What? Are you serious? Like, Hello, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Bro, watch that I'll be shit. tuned in. I'll be like, yeah. Catching checks, um, catching posters. Let me, let me ask you something. Do you ever watch any of the big three games? Ice Cube's League. Yeah, those are oh, crazy yeah. entertaining. Y'all watch them? I haven't watched that in a while. I never watched any of them. Why? Because I don't find it as entertaining as the NBA. No, it, it actually is. is it I don't. Street people, though, you think it's because yeah, I think it's because I am programmed to watch five on five. And I'm I think that, I think that answers the question. Three. Y'all are programmed to watch men play basketball. So when the WNBA came, it's like check it out. Oh, okay, it's so LeBron back to NBA. Mm -hmm. So that that. No, I watch WNBA games. You do, but a lot of people don't. They right. checked it out just to check it out, but they, that's it. It's you know, like, they, they I, can't. That's the same with music. Like, let me try this genre. Out. Uh, I don't like it. Back to what I know. Who's your female saying? LeBron? Oh, my female LeBron would probably be. Um, what's my? Favorite? I used to really like Lisa Leslie a lot. Leslie. Nah, not Lisa. Wasn't she the first one to dunk? And Teresa, Teresa, Teresa Witherspoon. Teresa, and what she's doing right now. I idolize her a lot. Crazy. She I was wild. I stuck my middle finger okay out before she came up the bus and had a talk no. with me. See? <laughs> no. Nope. See? Your, your female yeah. LeBron, the, the most popular like the people in your squad. They're not going to do the Candace no. Parkers, the yes. you know St. Lisa yes. Leslie. They're going to be like, hell no, we don't need to lower the rim. But yes. they, they don't realize yeah, they can hype. dunk. They can dunk. <laughs> they got to do this. Oh, they can dunk already. You know what I'm saying? But right. when you got chicks that's only 5'6, 5'7, I had a bitty on my block. We call bitty the short rim. You know what I'm saying? So they had the regular rim. As a female, being able to dunk on people was just, you don't understand the confidence it gave me in basketball. Like, I was like, I'm gonna dunk You're on that nigga. I'm chill. You're amazing. Man. Every day we went to the bitty first and then we went to the big court. So I can right. just imagine if they had that in the WNBA, mm -hmm. I think it would open up them getting crazy as far as dribble. Because I'm just like, it's so much more talent. I seen it, it in is. New York. I seen ballers. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I'm talking about they handling and one type shit. But when you when you, when you go to college, they stop all of that. Yes. 
Those coaches that's, stop that's all of that. And by the time you get to the A, it's like all of that shit is gone. But when you <laughs> catch them in the high <laughs> that's school, that's why I don't want to play no more college circuits. Too, too much politics. Too much politics. Yeah, See, you came in. You came in and enjoy your passion. So I was like, I don't want to do and it. I told you, I said, I, I, I was supposed it. to be a walk-on. All my friends pretty much got scholarships. When I saw that they didn't have no life, I was like, oh, nah, yeah. I'm going I'm to I'm just have to enjoy my, my college, my freshman year. No life. But that's a sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but at that at that age, you not you you don't realize you don't, it. Yeah, don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, don't know that. You don't now, know trust better. me, if I knew then what I knew now, hell yeah, know. I would have took ball way more serious. Right. You know what I'm saying? But Same. back then, I wanted the college that's experience. That's everything, Same. though. That is true. That's yeah. everything. It is. Nothing, it is. There's nothing but that like you But like you said, working. at the time, we were ignorant. Ignorant. We didn't know. We didn't know. We didn't. My mother was not a sports lady at the fuck all. She didn't agree with more than half the shit I did. So, of course, she's not... My dad is very supportive, of course. He's mm-hmm. his dad. Like, oh, my daughter, number one, he's coming to my games. Mm-hmm. But it's just, they didn't know the business either. You got to understand, back then, our parents don't know the business. Yep. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, all right, go to, school, go to school, do what you got to do. Yep, get a city it. job, get your benefits, mm-hmm. get your Wait, so I have, I, have, I have a question. Because <laughs> it ain't no, it ain't I'm, no I'm, go to the league. It ain't no, <laughs> girl, you living here, you're not paying rent because you're playing basketball. No, it, it wasn't that. So yeah, that's Because they don't think like, they don't. They you don't go to the WNBA, Ryan, you want this big Ryan, check. Ryan, so it comes from home also. It's not supported. It's not just us. It's like, then get into the A. Why are you not doing this? My high basketball practice tonight to 10. Like, oh, okay, but you still got to do this in the house. I was like, God damn, you know, I don't want to fucking play basketball no more because I don't want to hear shit in the house. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's, it's a lot that comes into play with Ladies passion. and gentlemen, that is every field of passion that you That's pursue. for the parents. No, that's the measure. for the parents. Sports, mm-hmm. whatever When your it child is. got a talent, support their talent. Yeah. Like, don't be hard on them. That I'm rent shit, and, uh, uh, you don't yeah. have kids for them to pay your rent. It don't work yeah. like that. Get right. that negative uh, shit out the system. Like, we if gotta, that's why you We got to change it. If, if that's I'm why you say. I know a lot of parents whose the main that. point of concern, and I'm not one, so take this with a grain of salt, but I know a lot of parents whose main point of concern is when I'm gone, what are you going to be doing? Right. Yeah. And here are and the years you raised. have yeah. to mm-hmm. get this shit together. Mm-hmm. And if you waste it mm-hmm. on something that ain't going to be paying you when I'm gone and I'm not here to protect you and I'm mm-hmm. not here for you to move in and I'm not here to pay for you and rescue you and mm-hmm. bail you out, mm-hmm. you're going to be fucked. No, we're not wasting. We're not. Uh, we aren't gonna we the generation of the rebels. But we, but and we, I don't mean no disrespect to anybody religion, talent. but that's what made me really start looking like I life different. I used to see old ass people like, you gave your life, your money, savings to the church for years and you're still struggling. Mm-hmm. And then when you can't turn them lights on, the pastor's not giving it to you, the church can barely come up with the funds for you. And you did that for what? Mm-hmm. So that's what made me start being rebellious, going to church a lot. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm not trying to play no religion at all. Again, no, 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 no. But, but you, you got to understand, there's, there's a reason why people, like, churches are I not I can't taxed. do that. Bad churches and bad parents <laughs> will create the exact same There's no result. such thing you as a bad, bad church. What's a you know bad what I learned? Church? You know what I learned nah. from therapy? Nah. Uh, which, why, oh, why you which, say which, that? Which, why you know I say that? Not to cut you off, because I went to therapy. There's no such thing as a bad church, because we expect that we're going to church, that they're supposed to help us. But they there for the same fucking reasons we there mm-hmm. to get help, you know, seek uh-huh. faith. No, 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 Oh, no, There's no, no, no time for me. So even though she may be 70, I'm like, damn lady, I'm coming for your advice and you judging me. I got to also understand, God <laughs> is still working on that lady and she may not never get it to the day she died, God forbid. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Church is for all of us hurt people to go to. When was that, was that your zone. experience though? It's not for me to go to look for the, the uh, what do you call the people in church? The, the people that go saints. to church. Yes, it's not for me right. to go to the states and expect them to help me. I got to go to God. That's what I'm going there for God. The but I'm not even going there for that's, the pastor. That's where the message got I'm split. That's yes. where the message I'm got I'm going there for my split. relationship with God. But hold yeah. on not a second. the pastor and not the people in the pews. Hold on God. a second. Hold on and a second. That's what we, or that's a mistake I learned growing Kaya. up. I thought the people in church were going to help me. No. Kaya, it's Sir, God. the service that the, the churches provide right. is... It's hope for people exactly. who are in yes, a struggling it's position. Hope. Exactly. You dig know what I'm saying? That's why they're not taxed. They're, they're yes. part of keeping society together so yes. people don't run out into the streets and just start wilding. Mm-hmm. Like, How much money do you black go there church for hope? make a year, though? 
No, but, it's money to black not people. Not all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not, not all, all of them. them. But I'm just. But the big like, ones. The big ones, though. The, the big, big ones. ones. That's, that's I mean, not if, regulated to it depends. black people. That's Why the church. Not? That's the church in general. Now you gotta ask the people that walk out of that church after service. You right. How do you feel? That are you prepared to deal with this week? You know what I mean? And if they're like, I feel good. I'm going into this week with good energy. That's the job. I keep, then that's some of my faith in God grew stronger. So then why you got to Because let me tell you something, Linda. My uncle was a man in church, (laughs) involved in the church. The people, taxes, everything. When he passed away, my family still had to come up with his money for his funeral in his fucking home church. So that's what made me look at certain churches different. Not all, Mm -hmm. but that just made me really wake up more like, I just got to keep my faith in God, not man. My faith is with God, not man. And people go to church looking for help from man. We go to church for God, not man. The pastor is still a man. He still might be sleeping with everybody in the congregation that we don't know. He's still sending himself. The ushers, they're still sending themselves. Blessings. It's good churches for God. Yes. <laughs> yeah, faith for God. And I learned that over the past couple of years. Wait, hold on. I, so I got a question. Be a blessing for those women. Real quick, hold on. People got to stop going to church for men. Go to church for God, for your faith in but you, God. But you got to understand, I, I, I'm going to point something well, out. Allah, whatever you believe in, Buddha, whatever, it's, it's for them. You but I want to point something out. Most of the times when you pray for something, it comes by way of another human being. And you're working towards it, though. But this is what I'm saying. It comes by way of another human being. God acts through people. Right. So when you say put your trust in, in God, yes. Yeah. But just understand, he's going to talk to you through Absolutely. another person. Absolutely. And as God working through those people. Right. Well, I got a question, right? I want to scale back a little bit to this basketball thing because yes. I'm ignorant to this. I don't know basketball? any. Yeah. Yes, yeah, because y'all y'all started going on a rent. But anyway. You want to play a game? So, we bust your ass. Yo, yeah, I would love to. But two? anyway, okay. this is what I'm saying. <laughs> I um hey, my nails on. Yo, KK, I, I was mean, oh, oh bro. <laughs> yeah, I was um serious. I don't I don't know any women <laughs> basketball players, right? But I always had this question because the ones that I have met, mm-hmm. they exert a certain masculinity, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Where does the masculinity come from in women's basketball? Where do y'all get that from? Because the ones that <laughs> I've met. They have a deep tone in their voice. They, they exert you themselves. You don't think that maybe right. they're just naturally a tomboy? It, 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 story. It, it, that's what I'm about to say. I'm naturally a tomboy. It, it, I think there's a correlation. No, I know that's you, but you know, it's a correlation. That, like, and not only that, that's a lot homosex- of the women. But that's, homosex- homosex- that's where it comes from. Right, hold, hold on one second. Even the homosexuality. I remember the first time my mother took me to a WNBA game, she ran me out of there. Why? Because she didn't realize what the, what the, what the audience was going to look like. It was a bunch of gay women. Right. right? So mm. at that point, I was 10, 11 years old. I wasn't right. really familiar with what a homosexual was and things of that nature. So she was just like, yeah, I didn't know female ba- female basketball was like this. Mm. Growing up in AAU basketball, mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. tomboy, you know what I'm saying? The masculinity, it's a, it's a part of it. And then a lot of them or, you know, is okay. So my cousin plays ball, she's very feminine and she's mm. nice. So it's, it's not all. It's, yeah, not, it's, all of not, it's all, not all. But it's not. I watch Love and Basketball. Yeah, it's, not, it's, it's not. It's the majority. I forgot. Um, I forgot. One of the basketball players was actually saying about how it being a culture in the WNBA about like the the masculine females. Mm-hmm. Just like that's the culture. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And if you are feminine, you are. You're kind of like the leopard. They you know try to saying? sexualize. Yeah, you. they try. They try to. And then we don't want to be sexualized as a woman playing basketball. Mm. We just you know want to play basketball. Like, why can't this be a a, a medium? So you probably see that because of what's the agenda that's pushed. Mm-hmm. But it's more, I can genuinely tell you, it's more females that's not gay and very feminine than there are aggressive females that play ball. You think so? I don't I, think so. I, I, I think so. I now, think today, so. not back then, no. Okay. Right. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. That's basically, yeah. back then, right. no. it was all, yeah. Today, but now, now yes. Bitches yes. don't play that shit. They be yeah. trying they to get the nails done as yes. low as possible. Yeah. Hey, you see, there was a yeah. video of a chick, her, her lace was peeling from basketball practice. And she put her rubber bands, she put her thing back on it. That would, <laughs> that me, us in lace back, that would have never yeah, been Yeah, never. Case. I used to get Iverson braids. Yeah, like, so, what's up? yeah. Females are I used to get the little bow braids. That's what I called them. Let me get the little bow braids, yeah, yes. walking into their feminine anymore mm-hmm. with basketball. Mm-hmm. And to be honest with you, back then it was it was easier to put my hair in a ponytail. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Just go out and ball. I, I I just wanted to play ball. I didn't care how I looked. I didn't care, you know what I'm saying, who was looking at me. I just wanted to bust ass. Right. Um, and then again, you around 
do you know what, what I'm saying? Mean? So naturally you pick up mannerisms mm-hmm. and certain things right. like that. That nature. was the thing that I always thought yes. about. Yeah. Because you're around yes. masculine yes. energy, yes. you conform to that environment. Just like because like, niggas will try you. Around feminine energy. Niggas will try you. The, you know what niggas will try you. They'll try you, pause. No, for, I had to What do you mean? Like, because they're like, all right, come on, bitch. I'm about to bust this bitch ass. And you're like, all right, nigga, now I'm about to fucking show you something. You're like, oh, you're not acting like a lady. No, yes, the fuck I am. You're just trying me because I'm a lady. You're trying me. So now I'm about to bust your ass. So that's where the masculine masculinity comes from like don't test me because I'm a female you think I'm about to bust your ass and bull that's not masculine that's competitive yeah it's just no but it comes no, off no, no, as no, no, a masculine no no no, no. as a female no, no, no. I'm like nigga I'm about to bust no. your ass that's not feminine of me I mean that's, that's, that's not lady that's you on the basketball court <laughs> yeah. that's, that's not lady yeah. like yeah. 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 say that for people with back tattoos right that's the situation it's a different situation he went on the back tattoo look at every time I'm in a court shooting around literally every time oh every time a nigga walk by oh what's up Yes, Mama, you got yes. ju- yep. Every time you see a nigga playing ball, that's never the case. Never. But you see a female shooting, you automatically got to say something. And nine mm-hmm. out of ten times, I'm better than you. Mm-hmm. So that's mm. what she's talking about. Yes. You know what I'm mm. saying? We got to deal with we that. We have to match our energy like, sometimes. For what? I shouldn't have, have to, to match prove energy. anything just because I'm a female and I'm on this court. You should assume... That I'm that I'm just as good as you, mm-hmm. just, because at the end of the day, when you see when you see other men on the court, you're mm-hmm. not questioning them. Like nah, you know, nah, that's true. nah, nah, no, I can't give you that. Oh, I can't bring, give you that. We're speaking from our experience. We're speaking from our expert. You see, you, see, nah. uh, <laughs> you see a female walk on the court. Your first question is. That's Can she play? Exactly. You right. see a nigga walk on the court. That's not the first question you ask, though. It yes. No, it's not. Y'all only gonna do that. 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 First, you gonna ask, oh, he's tall, he could grab rebounds. If he big, he could box out. If he's small, he could step. Y'all won't analyze the trash. See what he can do, even if he's trash. Right. Female, nicest handle. Best jump shot. As soon as she every the female court, who's taking her, cause every, she got on my yes, team. Yes, every female. Every but time. I'm speaking from my experience, every time. Bro. That's so, it is. Don't that's listen, right. listen, there that's was, was you play. Listen, listen, there was a bunch of girls. I was just saying, back then there was a bunch of girls that used to go to the park. They couldn't play no ball. They just liked the niggas exactly. that played ball. Exactly. I feel like I just so, saw. So the females that can't play ball. The ones like this trying to post up. I didn't see that. You know what's going on? Yeah, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. They're trying to pick up a date for the night. No, no. Where I'm from, if you didn't play ball, pick up a basketball. No, I'm saying like there will be certain females that be at the court. Uh huh. Not playing ball. Play, and they always try to post niggas oh, up. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, they try to pick up a date. They're trying to back <laughs> up. I'm acting on y'all. That's all. Exactly. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 I'm talking about uh, uh, the bitch uh, you see walking in with her Nike shorts and her basketball and her things yeah, on. Yeah, y'all got my own shorty sure complaint. Like, I don't know right. about her. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I might pick her though. You know right. what I'm saying? You pick her. The headband. It's not confirmed. It's not. not first thing, first thing I'm going to say is like, who showed you? Exactly. That's the first question. Who showed you? Exactly. That's what we were thinking. And the other thing is like, we don't, okay, if I play, if I play with you, like, I'm, and I don't play with you like, like you a female. I play with you like you a male. Can you handle it? And that's how I started getting better at shooting. Cause once I started getting older, niggas would use their strength against yeah, me. So and I know you out I'm not going to the whole pop. Now I'm gonna wanna get my man. And you gotta get your sister, nigga, cause fuck out of here. That's how it works. So now it's like, all right. That's how it works. Yeah, nigga, now beat me like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's how I got to Shout out to my homie LG. LG told me a story. They do do that. About female basketball players in his hood and how he would always play them. Like they men, so yes. he would trample them, step on them, he would do all this, <laughs> all this extra shit. I respect that though. Like, I respect that. Play me like how you play me. Don't treat me like a so bad I'm just saying. I like that. That is disrespect. Like niggas would say that on a call, like, oh, she just a girl. Don't. Just, yeah, no. I, oh, yeah, word. No. Now, now I may do something to you just so that you could play Facts. me like I could really play. Facts. Don't just take it light on me because I'm a female. Do you think men and women should play together? No. No. Come on now. That's like, bro, it's like any sport. Would you put a female football team against an equal team? I grew up playing football. Would you put a female boxer against a male boxer? No, it's funny. We got to, like, that's my, but battle rap, we can never have a man strength, bro. Because it has nothing to do with physicality. It's about the break. Yeah, lyricism. Anytime that there's physicality, it's different. It's not no physical. I remember with my friends, they were just like, oh, there's that's a myth. Females can't be a strong as men. I'm like, listen, what we not going to do? It's not. 
is the not science. You, you know can Google this shit. It science? is what it is. We can never be stronger than men. The female is not going to be stronger than the strongest. Right. It's not. And the highest jumping it's female is never going to jump it's higher not. than the highest jumping female. Yeah, shout out so to Dave gotta, Chappelle. You got to say something. I don't know if y'all ever saw that. I already know no. shit. You ever saw that? Scientifically. <laughs> it's a bit that he did where LeBron, what if LeBron changed his sex and went to the WNBA? Right. What? It scored, it scored a thousand it points every crazy. night. Like, <laughs> it would look crazy. It would look crazy. So like, to answer your question, that's why people make a big uproar when trans people enter female things yeah, because it's not me. fair. Yeah. Yeah. So that answers you your question man. right there. Yeah. Right, you still have men's strength, bro. Yeah. Us women physically, scientifically, we cannot have men's strength no matter how much vitamins we take, no matter how much we pump in the gym. We going we right can. back to the exact same. And certain chumps that, of course, we can put yeah, their yeah. asses, niggas, that just don't we, work we out. Going back to the same, we going back to the but same point as the, the beginning. Yeah. The biggest We're advocates the for this stuff, the biggest the biggest <laughs> advocates and, and people in your way for stuff like this are other women. Absolutely. Oh, okay. The people oh, who don't oh, want to lower the rim, that's yeah. going to be women. Listen, we ain't deny that, though. The people who are advocating for, you know, these... Yeah. The trans to come into women's sports are other women. It's not, we're not in which this women fight. though? I'm about to say now, not now, not talking about the fuck we don't. Which women? We don't know what that trans is. It's not us. Speak that on. community is not this woman. Speak yeah, on. Yeah, it's not I'm me about either. To say, it's not this woman. It's, not, it's the other what woman. I, what I can and I support whatever they want to do, but not interrupt. Of course, because y'all wow. typically remove yourself from those conversations altogether. It's not something that y'all care to even hit me. It's pause at two, y'all don't care. You know what I'm saying? So we are the ones, you know what I'm saying? I don't got shit to deal with the dialect and the explanation. It's not necessarily that we as heterosexual men don't care. Okay. It's that we've been told for a long time to stay out of bitches business. Yeah. We get told even arguing with a woman (laughs) is somehow seen as, how you arguing with a woman? Yo, she's barking at you. You don't want me. But if I yell back, That's I'm fair. arguing with a woman. Yeah. Okay, no problem. It's a lose lose. W- yeah. Which right. which I've never I've never really understood because how never is you as either. a woman less worthy to have a discussion right. with, with me to me. get spirited? Yeah. Right. You right. have intelligence, you're not dumb, you're not okay. a child. Yes, I can argue with you. Mm-hmm. You're you're a full grown adult. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, some arguing with a woman is seen as how Sassy. you all in Bitch's business. Yeah. Okay, got you, heard you. Okay. Now, this you happens to be one of y'all issues. There's a different reason for that, Max. There's a different reason it, No, 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 hold on, let me finish. This happens to be one of y'all issues. Mm-hmm. So when I tell you that men stay out of it, it's not necessarily to, trust me, most of the conversations I have with athletes mm-hmm. are all like, that shit is crazy. It like, is. There's no way that shit Male should be happening. Right? Male athletes. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Female yeah. athletes, too. Mm-hmm. All Across the board, that shit's nuts. Yeah. That shit is nuts. But all the dudes mm-hmm. are like, yeah, I wanted this. Word. That, because that's very much, because you know what it is. I feel like at, at heart, we're very much inclusive. We want every, we want people to feel good. I think we people want, take but they, women's they egos rights the wrong way. They took it to the next mm. level. We did just because we want to be equal. That don't mean we want to get out and change exactly. tires when we got a nigga right there in the passion. Exactly. It doesn't mean that. It means don't <laughs> treat me. <laughs> it means don't treat me less of a person, person. than a man. Yes. It doesn't mean don't hold me don't to the same like a man. I have a yeah. strength as a man. man. Oh, I, you know what I'm saying? That's what it means. It does never. It never meant, for my opinion, it never meant, yo, I'm, I'm about to build a house. When I'm going to build a house, yeah. we could do it, Same but we know oil. certain strength. Right. We can't do it. Mm-hmm. And some right. women may want to do it on their own. That's dumb bitches. Yeah. I know if I need help, call my man. Girl, bro, I can't lift this. Come help me. I don't yeah, fight breaking right. my nails. I don't, I don't give a fuck that. how much of a time I am. <laughs> I just got my nails done. I'm not breaking these shit. I had to pay the $150. Come help me lift this shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. But there are some Certain women and y'all to run with that. Those, those, the majority of women, we know what it is. You know, we what? know we now have the same strength as a man. We just want equal rights, equal treatment. That Don't treat me less movement. than fuck, uh, fuck a person up. because I'm a that. woman. Yeah, it's, the, yeah. it's just this that for most women. Like, Don't I, treat I, me less. I feel than like women pick and choose. Some women, not Some all. Some women pick and choose. Some women, and I feel like the post that goes viral, those those women speak to, for the minority of women. Because us women, me, her, Chastity, when one, we have this talks, we don't feel that way. I'm about to say, so these are things that, that go viral from yeah, them women that it's like a pick me ass female, mm-hmm. or they just doing things for likes. And it's certain, unfortunately, in this day and age, they doing it for like and content, likes, interaction. I'm gonna get paid. Oh, I'm gonna get a hundred dollars on this post. That's it. I'm They're not really speaking to how we really feel, and that's fucked it up. It starts with us, though. And oh. and that's what I will say. Like, as far as the dynamic, how everything... It starts with right. females. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, we have the power, and we right. don't, we, we've forgotten that. You know what I'm saying? So when you get it to that point where everything is acceptable now, there's no standard. We look like we, look like we talking crazy. 
know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We look like we the the crazy ones when no. This is the standard. These bitches done straight away, and now they're making it seem like this is normal. Like nah. Right. So I I, I, I I was like, you know, I feel bad for my bros because. Bitches out here is yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I feel bad because I have yeah. a lot of milk. Yeah, my homeboy be sitting in the post. I'm like, I got you, bro. Right. <laughs> and it's sad because again, bitches complain too much. I've been posting shit like that. I don't get the same what, what time. Y'all my fault. The, the females that I've aligned myself with, I've never had to deal with that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when dudes are telling me, oh, but I'm like, what kind of females you dealing with? Mm-hmm. Because, but. It's so many stories, and I'm seeing. I'm like, nah, bitches is out here really wilding. Wilding, you know what I'm saying? And they mm-hmm. have lowered the standard that, and that in hand, allow the niggas to lower the standard. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It starts with us, ladies, like for real. Like we gotta make sure that, regardless of what's happening outside, that we know what's good for us, right. not what's good for them. Mm-hmm. What's good for us? It starts there. Once uh, we start bettering ourselves, shit will better will come. I, I, I think I, I think I understand what you're saying. So you you want to be paid. Uh, you want to be equally paid if you're doing the same job that a man is doing. Mm-hmm. But you still want a man to hold the door for you. Well, just like you, you still have to want a woman to cook <laughs> or do the laundry. I mean, no, I'm, 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 I mean Kaya, if we, if we walk yeah, yeah, into yeah. a building <laughs> and I'm first, do I just... just I'm going to just crack it enough if so you, I can get it. <laughs> you can like hold I your said, own because door. Because you know I come I mean? from a like, family of women and they had husbands. Mm-hmm. I don't come from a family of whores. I come from a family. Right, That's right. Gender, you're talking Married gender women. Roles. Right. So, yeah, yeah you're talking gender roles. Talking gender if right. a man is walking in front of someone and he just swing the door open at me, I'm, I'm like, oh, oh, shit, okay. Yeah. But because I'm from New York, respectfully, I might be like, this this nigga just, this is nigga. Yeah. But if you're open, I'm like, wow, that's a gentleman. And that's sad for me to say. That If you think about it, it's actually sad for me. Like, wow, this man held the Stand out. That's me. not a but normal you, but thing. But you don't know if in his mind he's like, nah, she probably don't want me to hold the door for what? As a, I feel, And that's where it comes from. That's so where it comes from back in the day. not to be a gentleman. Men being taught. Oh, no, not me. Like, not exactly. Me. No, no, not true, but not any me. person. Like, why Men is, being taught to be sucks. gentlemen is just a gentleman, period. Yeah. Whether it's a stranger, yeah. your girlfriend, your grandmother, your aunt, your mother. Men being taught to be a gentleman, I come from that. Right. So if a man holding a door open for me, I'm like, back maybe years ago, I would expect it. But nowadays, if a nigga door, I'm like, why well, that's bring you for young men? You're like, oh, what the All hell? Right, so you good with that? Yeah. Like, you, I just said that on the, the, uh, uh, the guy that gives people five seconds to pick up their snacks if he answered the question properly. You know, you ever saw that shit on Instagram? Mm-hmm. He owned a deli, and if he asks kids oh, like yeah, math yeah, question, yeah, yeah. if they get it right, he gives them like five, ten seconds to get whatever they want from the store. Free. Right. It was yes. a young man. He got a prayer mat for his father, Nyquil, cereal for his family, mm-hmm. a little bit of chips. But the shit he got said, that's an honorable young man. Mm-hmm. And it was just so shocking to me. And the fact that it's shocking is what shocking? I'm trying to tell. It's sad because it's rare. He probably had a whole list in his pocket. He didn't have, no, you don't understand what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, I know what you're saying. You come in the store, that's First like me coming in and like, Kaya, what's five times five times divided by three times? I'm like, uh-uh. And you like, get anything from here. And mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I'm not going to hold you. I need this, that, and third for my mother, father. And you're like, oh, wow, she really cares. For him to be a young man, probably 12, 13, and thinking I'm thinking, a prayer man? Yeah, yeah. Like, who thinks that? I, we know, and we're not going to keep doing this either on social media. Majority of, of, of us are ignorant mm-hmm. and negative. Mm-hmm. Majority of kids that age, I know what about you. Let me get a vape, bro. Mm-hmm. Let me get a vape. Let me get grabber. And mm-hmm. when we you got weed, mad snacks. Now, I could get a thigh juice. Like, and that's just the <laughs> shit we see now. I'm going to say, how many gentlemen you know? I know a lot. You know right a lot here. You know. We all sit in this room. Yeah. We all well, giant. Yeah. Yeah. Six people. Oh, this I, is I, five. I, 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 I can six. Out no, no, no. of fifty niggas no, 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 that you know. No, 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 no. Fifty thousand. I choose my circle. Yeah, okay. exactly. Some people don't exactly. choose their circle. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Right. I handpick the you people got, right. I'm going you to be around. You got to this point. Right. Yes. Right. You got to this point. Maturity got you to this point. At a certain point in your life, you was around people who you you didn't consider gentlemen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Knew that they had some shit about them, but they were still your boys. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're talking about. Like, yes. It's still more of a, understand. all right, fuck you, bitch. You yeah, don't talk to me. Then it's like, so all right, miss, have a nice day. Oh, it's still 90% of those. It's rare. Out yeah. of 10%. It's rare. It is. Yeah. They're, they're, they're it definitely is. associates and then there's ALIs. Yeah, so ALIs, that's why I was shocked when somebody like, oh, shit, he held the door. Y'all understood the same thing. You got flowers? You got me candy? Like, because, and again, it's the standard that the females are created with. Right. They're still... Giving it up and still doing X, Y, and Z without all of that. So niggas didn't realize, oh, we don't got to do that no more. Copy. 
I nice, heard the most. But, but the whole, at the end of the day, nice guys to get the shit into the deal yeah, a lot. Too. I, but listen, when we go from on the woman break, that y'all describe, when we go on break, I don't play your I don't voice like now. when y'all do that. I hate when y'all do no, that. No, it's a because fact right, right now. It's society why? because y'all no. are going after the bad bitches. Y'all are going after the bitches no. that no. are going not going after no. the, the nice guys not that finish last. The y'all got to argue with yourself from the beginning. You just damn. You, you not the nice guy that finished last. The nice guy that finished last. You say just like they talk about the nerd that always got ignored in high school. But yet you watching anime. Right. There's a there's a there's a black girl with glasses who watch anime, but you don't want her. Mm -hmm. You want the cheerleader who right. you have no type of interest, um, right. no type of compatibility. What? This is the narrative when it comes it to the is. nice guy finish last and, I mean, and the black and, nerd guy who don't get no love. No, we not going to do that. That's Anybody not got a problem boy. with a chick that watch anime? Not sure. Not. So, wait, wait, wait. so wait a minute, hold on. We are not going to forget the narrative that was going around that um, that um, it's two. rare. Yeah, black women don't like um, nerves. Don't like don't like nerds. nerds. I didn't nerds. hear that. Yeah. That was a that was a narrative that was going, going around, around yes. social media. Yes. yes, yes. And it was like, oh, dudes watch anime. You you, you corny. You da 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 da. Yes. And they're, they're bringing it to like the high school setting and the school setting. And I'm just like, why why are we not putting everything into play? You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So you walk, you you anime, you into this, but yet you're going after the star football player. That's or it. the star cheerleader, <laughs> or whatever the case may be. Yet you have no, a whole wait, time community out, time out. Hold on, hold on, of people who... Let's take a perfect example. Listen, who, who listen who hold on, hold on, check it, check it. Russell, Russell is sitting but considered you, but a loser. But you're not interested in that. But you're for not interested in that. For all the great right. gentlemen. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, look. Same thing the nice guy finished last. Russell's... Exactly. So let's stop. Wait, 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 wait. Russell, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Yeah, because I can show you about yeah. 10 posts that niggas calling things Russell like Simmons is a terrible no, not, Russell, no, excuse me Russell Wilson is a terrible example of what? why? A terrible example how? because he's he's of a called gentleman? a loser for yeah, being yeah, a yeah, gentleman yeah, why do y'all call him a loser? we know because he went for he went and got a woman who already had multiple kids by somebody else and he multiple didn't have to do kids? that that's not the reason why y'all call him a simp yes it is that's not the reason why y'all yes, call him a simp. simp nobody said a simp you yeah, just said that I know but I nobody said simp I know nobody said simp I know guys. why he's called the simp. It's okay. for those reasons. I know why he's why called the simp. Why though? Yeah. Because let me tell you something. I have an aunt that was married for years. Her husband was very fucking abusive. And after years of a break, he tried, oh, I changed, came back. Guess what? Very fucking abusive. Three kids, two kids. So you mean to tell me when she moves on to the next person that... Of uh, the next guy that comes after her is a simp? Was, no, was she had future, enough. Future no. And it's the same thing. What's future abuse? We, Tom, none of us here. Can we stop that? that? Yeah, yeah. None of us here know that. Let's stop, let's stop let's acting like future, so future was like. Mental abuse, abuse is abuse. Let's go with that. Mental, like I said, I went to therapy. I still go. Why we can't say Mental abuse is abuse. Just because he may have been beating her ass. We don't know how he say that. I asked the very simple question. Was he abusive? I don't know these things. But you cannot say that. The woman who had her children by the same man, another man going after her as a simp. Now, she had 10 kids, about 10 baby daddies, and I'd be like, all right, he might be a little bugging. Mm -hmm. She had kids with the same no, man. No, no, no. it ain't not, no, no. So you not, wouldn't, it ain't no, no. So any man that goes behind no? another man, you trying to say is Are a you, simp? Would you, like, no, would you no. like me to answer the question that y'all want to keep my life? I'm, 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 I'm feeling it. Because I would love to give it to you. But <laughs> yes. I, okay, cool. Let's let's start from the beginning. Yes. A woman's test in life is physical. A man's test in life is financial, right? Yes, yes, Russell, right. Wilson, Russell Wilson has passed his test. He's a very rich man, which means his access to women is going to be different than somebody with a nine to five, right? right? Somebody with a nine to five, if a woman comes along with children, that may have to be the thing. But there's a gang of women out there who don't have children, mm -hmm. and there are way more women than men. Mm -hmm. So men actually have more opportunity, a yeah. little bit to select and yeah. say, I'm not going to put my resources into somebody else's child. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Oh, you're one of those. The reason, I'm waiting no, for him to finish. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I'm waiting for him to finish. I didn't, I didn't say, I didn't say this is, I didn't say this is, I didn't say this is. Okay. You're one of those. <laughs> but I can't explain. Mac, you're one of those, nigga. Yeah, he's one of those. I'm waiting for him to finish. I'm one of those, too. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead, Mac. But to be honest, it's like, okay, you went out there and you you got a trophy, bro. You didn't really look for something. How many children? No, that's not the finish. That's not the finish. How many children? Let me finish this point. 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 How many children did she have? I don't know. Did she have one, two? right? One. She only had one. Oh, yeah, we had one child. Well, his concept yeah. is throwing me, so I'm feeling it here and finish. Because she had one. It's the point of her having a child at all. So that's what I'm. Okay, okay go ahead. 
The fact and, is, I mean, he has the resources to go get a woman who does not have other, who does not have children by another man. Mm -hmm. What the reason why they call him a simp is not the reason why they call him a simp is not simply because he went after a woman who already had a child. Mm -hmm. The reason why they call him a simp is because Sierra cleaned herself up. Mm -hmm. Said I was I'm not I'm not about that action anymore. I'm not gonna be shaking my ass all over the place. I'm okay. actually gonna play the role of a wife, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna recognize that I have your last name. We're gonna be a family. We're gonna be a unit. We're gonna be respectful. Mm -hmm. And the second she got involved and they had a kid, she's twerking ass again, and she's half naked again, and she's posting all over the place. And all she's over singing the songs about fucks and niggas. I can't, <laughs> I can't agree with that. I was gonna ask, when you fuck fuck ask, you ask, like, like you refer, I never. You like how the rat bitches twerk. Now you're Say bugging. Again. When you said she now was shaking bugging. her ass, show are me, you please. referring to her being an entertainer? No, I'm referring to her being on the ground. No, I'm I'm going to show you're me. Shaking her ass? Yeah. Like, I need y'all to show me. Shaking ass. I need y'all yeah. to show me. Shaking a lot of ass. Okay. Because <laughs> every, like, 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 every female rapper yeah, that's yeah. a wife twerks way worse than harder than the So I want him to show me. I need y'all to show me. I didn't. Well, name me the female rappers who are wives. I'm not. Wait a minute. Name me the female rappers who are wives. I'm not. Because I'm independent and gatekeepers in this business and I'm not about to do that. But well, I'm not. Well, okay, y'all are both talking at the same time. I need, I need yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I want to see the video. Was she twerking? All right, okay. Sierra twerks for Instagram. No, I don't want you to read it. I want you to Russell show Russell Wilson approves. Show That's me. why they call him a simp. <laughs> That's why. Because his girl is <laughs> twerking. Because his wife. His wife. Because, he because got his twerking. wife said she was going to calm it down. Calmed it down long enough to get cool. Uh -huh. And now she's back at it. And he's okay with it. For entertainment. That's why, and that's why you're future not, like, you're not she's me. for the streets. I'm not say, you're not but hearing me. that was never a problem for him. Really? You're not hearing me. Amen. I didn't say that he's in the wrong for feeling that way. You're not hearing me. Okay. But what you're asking me why they called him a simp. I'm telling you why. I'm telling you why. So that's and we're why. telling you from is, is our that, perspective right? and our generation. Is that right? No, agree. because if he's cool, people yeah. call him a simp yeah. before because it, of that nice cool thing he does. It it that's never Sierra. seen that one. That's not Sierra in the red. The girl in the red is wild. More than anybody top. in the video. The, the girl top. in the red is bucking the fuck out. No, the one on top, top of the car. She on top of the car. Okay, she's regular. Is this for a music video? Yes, that looks like it's for a music video. No, it's not. It's for TikTok. This ain't the video. That looks like a music video. It is. This is for Instagram. It is. That looks like that was in a music video. Okay, all right, hold on. I'm gonna show you. Are we also going to the girl in the red caught my attention more than Sierra? She was wild. Social media influencer. And you know that's why you're laughing. She gets paid for posting. The girl with the red was bugging the fuck out. Right, we talk. We can't talk across each other. Her thing was from her her words that she was done with that. Okay. She's back at it now. Okay. You dig? Okay. That's what makes him a simp because the impression is to you. No, not no, no. To me. She's saying to other people. Not to me. See, this is this is the thing. You you've been going so hard. You didn't hear me say. I heard you say, it's but it's not that. It's from for me, our it's perspective. Not, I never saw that. I see. You're not calling him a simp. You actually because I think men he's a gentleman. are calling him a simp, I, and I'm telling and you. And I'm why. telling you, men. Queen, who queen? Listen, nah. let me tell you something. Yeah, you no, not. listen, <laughs> men. I'm telling you what I see. What they're catching. This nigga bought this bitch flowers. That is never because, oh, she was twerking in that video. I never Those in life. Those are corny. And yeah, that's right. what but I'm that's telling you. Unless, in that's our demographic, unless, in our age group, that's, that's what's unless, going on. He's buying, being called a sin for being I a gentleman, bro. That's, that's a grown man. That's what I'm trying to tell unless you. Unless they're buying flowers for a chick that ain't yours. That's what I'm or telling you. you're not corny. No. That shit is corny. No, no, no. That's, and that's a grown, grown man. I know. What you said. I know. But again, I respect your opinion. I know. And, and again, he like that. If he's okay with it. There's then no I, way then, that then you, it. as a grown man, be like, oh, that nigga's a simp. Them going to the saying, Waffle House. I'm okay. I'm, I'm comfortable with my wife doing what she does. You, as another grown man, is gonna call him something because you're not comfortable with what he's comfortable with. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense. Look I'm not saying that's what you're doing. No, 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 no. Who you're defending is what they're saying. Hold on, hold on. Because you can't make two. You can't make two. Two points in one episode okay. and just, just try to switch it because you just agreed that the standard of women is falling. So there's going to be a lot of guys out there who's noticed this and they're like, you know what? There's I'm not an taking a risk with none of these women chicks. Women. Yes. And then there's the never. guys that's like, I'm still going to be a gentleman. But I don't you know, care if she slept with 50 people. I don't care. I just, no, no, I just I'm not talking about the nigga. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then once you got with her, well, why you slept with 50 niggas? Nigga, you knew. 
Cool. Again, you knew Ciara was Ciara before. You knew she was an entertainer. The same right. thing with um Megan, Megan husband, who tried to act all. You knew Megan, Megan was Megan husband? before you I can't name more than five people. Let's be real, my nigga. Let's be real. I can't name more than five men Ciara doing. That's a grown woman, and that's honorable. Y'all make it seem like women are supposed to sleep with one man. I cannot name more than five men Ciara's been with. Oh, but you are. Like I can't. Certain cultures. Yeah. But we're not that. So why yeah. do we keep comparing? That? That's, that's, that's like when we talk about us. That's like when we talk about black or black crime. Y'all want to talk about what the police do is. Why do we got to stop doing that? Yeah. We're talking Don't about our situation truth. right now. Don't move the I forward. cannot name more than five men she's been with. Because. Industry wise. Because y'all don't have a huge crime price. I know a lot of celebrities that dated and never This is the problem. This is the problem. Women don't have a used car price. We don't. We don't. If I go to the lot, there's a price for the used car. And there's a price for the brand new car. But that's the brand new car. I got to an extra 20 on a that, joint. That's a part but of the If I, I want a chick that ain't been with nobody well, or a chick that been with 50 niggas, that. it's the same price. That's okay, the problem. That's, <laughs> that's the problem. Facts, I hear you. Nah, y'all I gotta have you. a used car y'all price. I think y'all have a different way they ain't even hear nothing. I just said that. I heard you. You said me. No, no, no. no, 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 no she just agreed with you and explained to her She just agreed with you and explained to her. Why y'all do that? But you get what I'm saying. Yes. Y'all look at it like that. We don't necessarily. So y'all have a different standard and how y'all judge and I get it but what she was saying and that's what we're more alluding to the people oh he's buying her flowers yeah it's he's not what she has nothing to do he's with the I know, I know. it's like I, I get what you said brother but he's it's day like, and age I know, people I call know. him a simp for doing? being a gentleman well you they can't, don't and never because, miss show that video because, that you just because saw. those dudes never. have had those dudes have had experiences with women who, right. who, who for them this woman is not reciprocating this energy. And that's not okay. This right. is all one-sided. The that's flowers okay. you give her, the attention you give her, mm-hmm. this is all one-sided. And there's somebody, and that's not and this, okay. this is the impression, mm-hmm. there's somebody outside of your interaction with this woman, she goes to another man and gives him the thing that she's making you jump through hoops for. Right. But that's not So you right. are simping for this chick as she goes to another dude and gets right. hit down but she comes to you for attention, resources, mm-hmm. money, et cetera, et cetera. And I agree with you on that, but that's not Ciara and never was. I, I Unfortunately, don't. she got caught and in grow, with future. Why we can't grow? It, right. Why, why at 20? That's why I hate when people say something to say. But at, at 30, I want, I want no. You know what I'm saying? Like, we elevate. Some, and as females, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes it takes a relationship. Sometimes it takes right. a fuck nigga to, oh, right. I, gotta, I gotta grow the fuck up. Right. I can't accept what I accepted before. I, I feel so like that keep insinuating future is some I sort of, say, I, I don't saying, know. I didn't what's future? Whoa. What's that mean? Can y'all stop to doing that? You know what? I need to step my shit up. I need to start accept, um, requiring more. And there's nothing wrong with that because that happens with well, me too. Well, yes. it, it's, it's, it's uh, that I understand that. Mm-hmm. And I'm not anti that. However, you don't get, the past doesn't get erased. You dig? And if a man values purity and body count and all that stuff, then yeah, you can't, you yeah, can't but, uh, erase. Yeah, I and I understand it. That's I, how y'all mind Anybody in here went to therapy or no? Just yeah, because yeah, y'all, y'all really got to. Yeah. Because it's not about erasing the past. It's about accepting the growth. Uh, that, that's, right. that's, that's, the, that's like if I did coke 20 years ago. That's y'all. That's and your no, growth. That's every, not a that's dick. Not no. how they think. That's when not how they think. When a dude is sizing up the woman who he wants to be with. If somebody wants to do coke 20 years ago and they come in like, oh, be careful. Oh, that's powder, boy. That's not coke. This is not working in the street. Why are you like, doing that? You know what I'm kid. saying? Have you so we shouldn't do that girl? to people. Like. <laughs> you but look, you're not gonna wife a bitch in a strip club, right? <laughs> but you're not gonna wife a bitch in a strip club. But when she grew, that's what they kind of say. But ten years later, grew? you might see her like she's a lawyer now. She got her degree. You might, oh, I could fuck with her. Or oh, ten years later, she might still be a stripper. Now I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about the I'm talking about yeah. What the past got to do with the elevation? Right. That's what we're asking y'all. That's inside. Changes are inside. Inside. And that has to do. It doesn't take some man to do that. That has to do with you personally. Because no, you feel like as a person, I probably didn't fully grow all the way, so I don't think this person grew all the but way. But nine out of ten it's times, internalizing it's a, a lot factor. of times, a lot that that it's motivates it. that change within you. It's yeah. an external factor. Yes. The problem, it, it, it's you that yes. does it, but the motivation is nine out of ten times external. Most of the right. problem is that past is not as past as you think it is. But that's based on yeah. your what? And, 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 and change. your experiences. And that change in what you that think again. it is either. That's no, why no, my favorite line in life is to each their own. Because you feel <laughs> oh, that way based off your experiences and what you've been through. 
Kaya. And that person. Kaya. And, him, Kaya. and the people Kaya. around. Kaya. Right. Kaya. I don't judge people until Kaya. I really Kaya. see like, oh, they really, they really, they really stop smoking. It's two worlds out Kaya. here. I, I know potheads. I be like, at first, Kaya. I'm the same way. Wait, don't come here. Let me finish. Kaya. I know potheads. So, so how did basketball discipline y'all in rapping? Kaya. Kaya. Stop. 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 <laughs> he said he's not he's judging. Not judging. Oh, he's not judging. He's not judging. Not, he's not, not, judging. Okay. Am I not he judging? Judge. Judge. So I, I think that falls into you. That, I think that falls into you not really giving a fuck if they did change. Also, yeah. if you don't care, uh, nah, you don't care. <laughs> yeah, so then, so then that falls into you don't giving a fuck if they no change. Care. Yeah. So that yeah. falls into the fact that you don't I, give a fuck if they change. What I'm telling you is, what I'm telling you is, judgment takes energy that I don't put out. Right. I don't. I'm indifferent to whatever the fuck anybody does, as long as it doesn't bother me specifically. Right. Right. And it takes a lot for that to happen. Mm-hmm. I really don't care. I'm not judging anybody <laughs> for doing anything <laughs> that makes them happy. Right. If you can live with what you've done. Mm-hmm. If you can live with what you're doing. Yep. If you can live with what's about to happen. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm not putting the energy in to tell you, hey, good for you. Right. I don't care. I don't care. However, I hear a lot of people complaining. Because you were you were in for the heist, you just don't like your cut. You did what you did. You're upset about the results. Mm-hmm. This camp comes with that. Mm-hmm. Right. This thing you decided to do in your past mm-hmm. now comes with this thing here. You mm-hmm. smoked a ton of cigarettes and you caught cancer. Really sorry, but that kind of came with right. it. That's different. If you did you smash the homies, all nice kind of have a relationship. Yeah. But that's different. Uh, if you, that's if different. You fuck a bunch of I get what you're saying, but that's different. That's different. That's different. Depending Should've on thought how about it. That's different. That's, that's different. that's different. Should've weighed this situation out. That's totally different. I sleep with 100 niggas. We're talking about you know sexual you know, factors. That's different. Because no, but it's not different. You can't say that. It's not different. You're judging a man based on a woman's standards right now. We don't have the same test in life. We don't have the same test in life. Right. Just, women control access to sex, not but men. No, 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 women no. control access to sex, not men. Men okay. rape women. Don't say that. Whoa, 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 those are not men. Those are not men. Niggas rape women. That's still those not control. Niggas, men. It is. That's still not control. We just talk about men. strength and sports. If those you hold me down and fucking rape me, that's a bad Those are not men. And that is illegal. Niggas rape women. So that's not Those are not men. And that's illegal. Those are not men. Those are savages. Those are not men. Niggas are not men. Savages rape women. Not mentally also, y'all keep yeah, forgetting that, that part. Yeah. A lot of Those things are, are not, not just men. physical. That's There's a, women that come from just a one, no semblance, no, their mom just, ah, ah. And the man will get in your mind and know what the fuck he doing. He might have read 48 Laws of Power. that's not a real man, like, though. No, no, just, to you, no, 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 no. But a woman can read these same books. No, no, no. A woman can read these same books. Stop, Hoffa, we're not, we're gonna stop doing that. We just spoke before the episode started about ignorance. What we don't know, we don't know. So if you have an innocent girl that don't know nothing, and a no, nigga know your player, she, grow up she don't know nobody, sexualized. and he right. got you know sexual right. give her something. That's not that lady's fault. She don't got right. nobody that that's not that lady's fault. Going on when she grows up. One at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Right. And if she she grows up, she don't know better. We gotta stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. We're gonna stop doing that. Women are more sheltered than men. We all gonna agree with that. Women. Growing up, nowadays, I don't know. Nowadays, it's different. But from when I was coming up, Women is more sheltered than men. We grow up, be a nice young lady. Ah, uh-uh. men. How many girlfriends you got in kindergarten? Why are you putting that in a little nigga's head in kindergarten? Let's stop. First grade, second grade. Oh, you got all the girls in the class. And women is taught. No, you don't. You don't mm-hmm. do that. Talk and then men it. grow up thinking like, why are you denying me? My mother told me I'm handsome. I got all the girls in mm-hmm. kindergarten in the class. They used to come from my crayons. Mm-hmm. Think you know what I'm saying? Right. Like so, it, it, it's, it's a mental thing that grows, no, and it's not all men, not all but men. it's majority. Unfortunately, it I don't is. think it's majority. Men are, let me tell you why. It's rapey. I know a man to this day. He tries to come on to me, and I had to tell him like, respectfully, brother, I'm about to block you because you keep playing with me, and I told you I didn't play like that. Mm-hmm. I keep telling you I don't play. Oh, let me just eat you out. I didn't even play like that. But that comes from men growing up with mothers 
you always it's a saying, mothers and sons. That's no, it. No, That's no, a no, very no, short no, 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 no. Blame that saying. on the mother. Blame that on the Stop. other 150 women right, that he sent listen, that to. Hoffa, and they was like, come listen, through. It's a saying, Blame it on that. Mothers and their sons. And that's all I got to be said. And we know what that means in this community. We're not going to stop. We got to stop throwing stuff thing. under the rug. Exactly. Stop. 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 That men do not go through. And this is a fact. You can do a census right now and it's a block. I guarantee you, more black women would tell you, eh, I don't really get along with my mother like that. Then maybe like, I'll go to my mother's house right now and give a fuck. I bring a bitch through right now. My mother's not going to say nothing. sexually assaulted. And you can do a census on it. And I'm, and I'm sad to say it. I'm sad. It hurts me to say it. But it's a fact. So you may not it's not my opinion. It's we're, a fact. We're not, we're not going to equalize that. We're not. That's not going to change. It can. But it, but it shouldn't. It can. It shouldn't change because at change. the end of the day, a woman wants to be a man's last love, and a man wants to be a woman's first. We got single mothers goals. want their sons to be raised and to be the niggas that they wish they had. Why don't we take a break and put a pen in? This and cup, that's just a fact. Like a lot of times we're out in twenty years. Hold on. Mm. A lot of times, mm. for real. Mm. You said mm. single women. Single mothers raise their sons to be the boyfriend yeah, they wish they, they had. had. And that's a fact. Down to dressing them like the niggas they was fucking with. Or the dudes they can't stand. That too. That's because right. that's the thing That's the thing I learned in therapy. Some people fall in love with their rapists. With their abuse. People that suck their abuse yeah. up. See, when we saw, Even down to a man you saw weird, abuse bro. your mother. That's it's weird. not. And go, look, and go get you, a, a good nigga that look like him. It's a mental thing. That's why I went to that's college. That's why I went to college. I went to college for this. Yes. Y'all see that situation with the Gypsy Rose girl? Yeah, she's my profile. She's my profile picture. That shit's crazy. Her man looked just like her mother. Just like him. The lady who abused her whole life, her husband looks, looks like her. So and she got the husband in jail. With a nigga that but, looks like the lady that- But did y'all know R. Kelly got raped by his sister we did. when yeah. he was young? We and did. And all the girls that he dated- uh -huh. We did. Or his sister's age when she was molesting him? We did. I didn't know, know that. that part. I knew that. that part. I, I knew that, that part. part. I never bashed R. Kelly. You never see me went full in R. Kelly ever on social media, ever, anywhere. Because I went to school for that. Yeah. I know. I don't. Yeah. It's really a mental sickness. It is. It's a mental sickness. Right. It is. We're, we're I don't bash people with mental sicknesses. Like I told you on the phone yesterday, I worked with people over 10 years with mentally di disabled diseases. And you can. That uh, develop them even can, as an adult. Being, being that you saw firsthand that some of these people have real issues and they don't think normally. Yes. And you can be like, okay, all right, cool. But it, you can help them. They're different from the rest but of But sadly, it's so fact. many people that enabled him. And in R. Kelly case, because he had a talent and had money, mm -hmm. nobody around him said, bro, we got to get help for this. Mm -hmm. This right. has to stop. Mm -hmm. They just said, I got to pay my bills. Right. I have a family to feed. He with that young girl. Mental, I didn't see nothing. And we have to stop that. It's not big enough. We got to stop, bro. Come, stop. This has to stop. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's going to catch up to you one day. But unfortunately, like I said, therapy in a black community is frowned upon. Yeah. Or it's the black As a white shit. It's like going to the doctor. But, but it's, it's not, a white but it's not just the black community. And that's why we're dying younger and younger. It's, just, it's not just the black community. Because we have to unlearn things. Did y'all see recently the guy that, that jumped over the, um, the judge's desk? Yeah. 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 I saw the full video. I right. saw the full video. Right, so you he got to history. see him speaking and yes. see, see, see his speech. She sister basically said, I'm not giving you another doing. pass, nigga. Okay. And the nigga got mad. But okay. from the clip we saw, it looks like she's pushing his buttons in. No. She denied nigga. him um, probation. You had too many yeah. passes. Yeah, already, but he had been wild, but, but like his, his track. Yeah, like. <laughs> but no, 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 no. But understand, he has <laughs> a mental Ill illness. Mm -hmm. She didn't take that into account at all. They she never do. Jail is not going to fix that mm -hmm. at all. He's yeah. going to come out worse. He needs to go to a yeah. mental facility. He's, but respectfully, no, he might not come out. It's not that. that respectfully, that's that. not that mm -hmm. judge's fault. The first judge, and the second, and the third. It's all It's all of them. You still have a point to catch it, right? But she could have caught it too. The, the, like me saying being no, involved with the laws and having mm -hmm. different people in my life, you get tired. That's like us at a certain point. We're not but, gonna keep playing like with it, these, these little fucking artists that want to come up. But with we us also gotta like, recognize uh -uh. that the they that they're way more lenient. You know what I'm saying? Like they again, from the way that they describe it, mental health is mental health. It doesn't matter the color. You know what I'm saying? So if you That's have somebody it. who's mentally dis ill. Black or white, it should be about getting them help. In other countries, mentally disabled people, they don't get sent to jail. It they get sent to mental. Um, right. But that's why I said it goes back to the where beginning. They get help. Because that's, that's where not enough help. But, but hold on. That's but not it, but it was stated to this judge that under supervision, uh, under supervision, uh, 
he does do well. Mm -hmm. And he had not taken his medication for that year because of something with his health insurance. Mm -hmm. He wasn't he wasn't able to get his, his medication. Mm -hmm. So all that taken in the plate, mm -hmm. she still he sent still, him to she prison. She still didn't even I don't care. know. I had a lot wow. of experiences with that, so I can't... I, I understand both parts. Because I even watched a movie recently, and it was a comedy. Although it was a comedy, I had a point. It was two niggas unstable for each other. They were grown men, completely unstable for each other's growth in life. They had a little ah-ah uh -uh falling out. He met someone else like, yo, that's not good for you, ah-ah. Uh -uh. They both didn't want to grow, so they ended up being back with each other. Just because someone's telling you, you're under my supervision, he's good, that doesn't mean he's always good. And from a judge's point of view, when you've been doing this for years in life, when them files come up, because you, I told you, I've been in the court system. There's nowhere in them folders that say this person is mentally unstable. It just has record. It 1999, really 2001. Right. Mm. Oh, really so you're wilding. Right. So me as a judge, I'm doing my job. I'm not a therapist, mm. respectfully. And, mm. and I know it sounds harsh, well, but that's not a, a part of a judge's job. Let me ask you a question. A judge's part, job is to you judge. You said you watched the full video. Yes. When you saw him speaking, <laughs> did you think he was normal? I thought that he should have been got help and I was too late, sadly. I'm sorry. This did you is think he was normal? Did and this is why I talked to my black... Did he give you the impression no, that he, he had a mental illness? Being in my field? No, I didn't think he was normal. However, if I was a judge and I'm being honest, I don't give a fuck. I'm doing my job. I got mad cases this year. 17 million times here. Bye. Get off I know. Nah. So when... No, that's just... I we can't so, have you alone. So when Superman I, goes in the desk, he get a hold of your ass. Don't be mad at it. I took criminal justice along with that. That's why I stopped. I never continued criminal justice. I was trying to Oh, criminal the law is not fair. Yeah, it's not. And I learned that. Okay. So that goes back to us. Even in that, that video. It goes back to you, no, Kyle. You just to said you're going to send him to jail. You, no, I'm talking about the whole situation. You, what would make you feel that way? Is it the system? I'm talking about the whole, you? yes. I'm talking okay. about overall it goes back to us as a people. We have to teach our black sons and black men to take accountability for what you do in these streets because America don't love us. And neither do the cops. So you want to sell drugs over there, you got to rest it. All right, why you do that? Then you go a couple blocks we're, down, we're, we're let me go to another borough. We're and talking do, about listen, a man that finished. was born addicted to crack cocaine. And listen, yeah. who got he help him? Born Before he got into the system, did he cocaine. ever get help? We yes. don't know that, right? For yes. Who? I didn't He's see that. He had medication. Yeah, medication. Yeah, medication. His lawyer stated on why he supervised. Bro, I had laryngitis. He does well. My doctor, I could take a picture right now. My doctor gave me four shits that have nothing to do with my laryngitis. Did you know what I'm mental health to laryngitis? No, that's what I'm saying. Did he get mental health? No. Did he get mental health? But I'm saying, no. So that means he was diagnosed. If he got the medication for No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's what goes back to me. Somebody give me a therapy. This is what goes back to me working in the field. What the? This is what I'm saying, Apple. Stop making a joke. I need a cough drop. You're making a joke. I was. For this bipolar shit. <laughs> I was administering so, to serve meds to my patients. Right. I took my degree, I did everything. I was the only nurse on, I used to get called in on my days off mm -hmm. to get these niggas meds. They don't give a fuck. That's what I mean. As black people, we have to research Recognize. who's what and specialize in it. Not going to the doctor. All right, he got ADHD. Here, yeah. he got ADHD. He got ADHD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here. No. I Go and see what the fuck is really wrong no. with your child. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like therapy. And there's a lot of people that stop. My child don't like therapy, so I'm just not going to say. It's not up to your child. That's like taking your child to the dentist. Mom, my cavity hurt. So you're going to let your child have mad old lab teeth? And yeah. mad cavities? Yeah. No, no. no, it's the same I with mental with what illness. You're saying. So listen, yeah. let me finish. Just because he got administered meds, that don't mean he never really got assessed the situation or the problem. Yeah. But, that was my but you, point. You gotta that understand, don't mean he's he never lose, assessed lose. it. Exactly. And that's not and nobody's was really born a dick As black people help have him. to understand right. that's not up to the law to understand us. They're not on our side. We gotta stop blaming the law. They're not on our side. They're not never gonna be, nigga. We have to blame the law. No, we don't. But does that mean that we can't pinpoint the injustice? We got officers in our state. That's not officers that can really serve and protect us. Do y'all look that up? No. It's black people that took upon themselves, like the Black Panthers, it's 2023, 24 versions of Black Panthers. Do we use them? No. Because we're so busy fighting the police. <coughs> fighting the police. A battle we're not going to win for years. It's been over 100 years now. How long are we going to keep doing that shit? No. Right, Assess wait. the situation. Stop being stubborn. Ma'am, your son got a problem. Hey, you know what I see? Bitch, ain't nothing wrong with my son, bitch. You don't know how to fucking watch kids. I see that more than not. Nah. And we're not going to stop. We're nah. not going to lie about That's that. True. I see that more than... I just seen a post the other day. A bitch made a parody. Me on my way to my son's school because she said my son don't listen to me on my way to defend my son. Huh? Yeah. You're not going to listen during so quarantine? I saw the most complaints from parents ever I've seen in my life. 
Because they finally got a gist of their fucking kids yeah. on what the parents was telling them. What the teachers years, was going through. What the teachers was fucking going through. I have a couple so of we have to friends. stop. That's only my point. Yeah, I wasn't comparing to Larry Guys. I just used that as an example because he gave me shit that had nothing to do with it. So yeah, we could go to the doctor, but like you said, he never even really had real health insurance. So of course he didn't go to the proper doctor. No, he had health insurance. The, the, the mental... But listen, right, right now, I just was looking at, I want to go to an ENT doctor, but because of my insurance, I can't find a good one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So they probably didn't find the right one. They just found the one that was doing their job. Oh, he got ADHD here. That's and that's the parents. Here, here, here. You don't want to take the medicine? Okay. Yeah, and also, meds, we're off. Yeah. That's what I was getting to is me being an AMAP. That's the name of it. I was AMAP certified. Meds were off. We used to have one patient that used to bust our ass, nigga. Fuck us up. We used to have to do a four-man takedown. They gave him meds so strong he fell down and stepped on their bus's head. Whole house under investigation. Took him off, now he's back to fucking him up. Putting him back on that. It's, it's, it's deeper than that. You gotta accept it when they're a child. Once they're adult, I'm sorry to say, sometimes it's a little too late. And at his age, it's too late. It's too late. Uh, they gotta put him down, tie him down, clean think, him. I don't think it's too yeah. late. I, I wanna say it's too just, late. It's a process, they gotta clean. Though. It's a process. It's a process. It's, it's a process it's, that it is a process. the law like system is not. Right. We can't expect the law system to give us. And I, not. No, but that doesn't I, mean that the law we, system accountable. And, and I'm not to saying that makes it okay. I'm never saying it's okay. I know you're not. I know you're not. I agree. You didn't. You didn't say anything. I disagree with. However. There are two things can be true at the same time. Okay. Yes, the law looks at us different. Right. Yes, they need to be held accountable for breaking their own laws, even Absolutely. when it comes to us. Just because it's us doesn't mean you get to get away with it. Yes, it's been an uphill struggle. And yes, nine times out of 10, it's not going to go in our favor. Yes. That doesn't mean we let them know. We we, we, we just fuck that. We're just going to go on about our business. No, 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 no. no. Hold on. No. You fuck that kid over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Judge number one. You fuck that kid over. Yeah. Somebody needs to say, that needs to be said. Yeah. Now, right. where, Especially when a white person is not getting no jail time. Where he is now, like, where he is now, I totally get your assessment. You're coming at it from, from a professional standpoint. You've mm -hmm. seen how this works. I completely get it. Yes, he's fucked up in the game. He's doing X. He's dangerous. Can it? And this is back to what we said about men and women. Sometimes the track record catches up. <laughs> yes. The past ain't always yes. in the past. Sometimes Hello? it's in the present. Right. So here we are full circle. Yes, his past is very much in his present because it's right. affecting how his present is being handled. Mm -hmm. However, that part of his past shouldn't be the only part that's being brought to the present. Yes. Right. Judge number one, right. you're in his past. Mm. Right. How come you didn't see anything about, how come you right. didn't ask anybody to evaluate this mm -hmm. kid? Hey, hey, insurance company, you're right. giving him the drugs. No, Where the no, fuck no, were you? I 1 million percent agree. That's what I said. No, no, you got to understand. But what she's saying is that These they never did. These judges did. They did. They did. They're they're never she going was to, the yeah. judge that said yeah. he needs a taste of something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that part. That you get what I'm crazy. saying? Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. She was the one who was like, And being in the field, sometimes people do play on their mental illness. I know people that had a mental illness, it was very fucking Sure, two things can be true at the same time. Can I say something? So it goes back to like, now Only if you don't go back to basketball. No, no, no. To the, to, the, to the topic, so I'm what's considered a recidivist, right? Okay. I've been in and out of prison for most of my life, okay. right? Multiple bids, in and out, Rikers Island, upstate, whatever. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about the, the first judge, right, that sees me at a, as an adolescent and see I have issues, I got fucking six cases mm -hmm. at one time and I'm going in front of a juvenile court judge. Mm -hmm. And that judge says, punitive justice. It's a difference between punitive justice and restorative justice. Right. Right. Restorative justice is the judge saying when I was 14 years old, champ, uh, Michael Smith Baker, mm -hmm. you need to go into this institution mm -hmm. in contrast to Spofford mm -hmm. in order mm -hmm. to help under in order for us to, to understand why you are the way you are. Mm -hmm. We need to get you into a psychologist, mm -hmm. to a uh, um a therapist, yada, yada, heard, yada. I've never heard that before. Yeah, no, that yeah, never yeah, happened. That, 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 that don't happen. I'm it's saying this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You usually know another race. Yeah, well, I'm not, not, no, 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 no. Let right. me finish. Exactly. Let me finish. Right. Hold it's on. Let me finish. Let me finish, right. Kyle. So how do we keep trying to... The reason why it didn't happen because it's fucking business. Fuck all this other shit y'all talking about. It's about business. It's about making money. Those beds inside prison is $60,000 a fucking head. Yeah. So do you think they really care in America about, getting about restorative yeah. justice? No. no. You get in trouble in prison, you go to SHU. Mm -hmm. You go to the fucking box. I was fucking 14 years old in solitary confinement. Mm -hmm. You understand? Do you understand what that does to a motherfucker? Right. Mm -hmm. And then you come out and they expect you to get a job <laughs> and do the right thing. But you like, no, all I know is violence. All I know is fucking disrespecting the cops. All I know is this, that, and the third. Right. All I know is fighting over my food. Right. Mm -hmm. 
So now when I come in the street, y'all not giving me no opportunity. So what has to happen now? Right. What has to happen now? <laughs> right. 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 I gotta take it. Right. I gotta take it. Y'all laughing, but no, this is some real shit. This is some real shit. And look, two women sitting in the air. Yeah, yeah. I had to come. Look, look, look. All right, all right, all right. Look, I'm here with him. I'm here with him. But then what happens is, because I don't talk about this a lot. But then what happens is, you go back in front of another judge. Right. Right? You go back in front of another, just the same shit. Oh, Mr. Smith Baker, oh, I see you hadn't learned your lesson after we, you know, put you inside of a Lincoln Hall or, or Harlem Valley mm -hmm. for two years. So we're going to give you a, another bid. Now you, you excel from the school of prison pipeline. Now you excel into going into Rikers Island. Mm -hmm. So I went from Sparford to Rikers Island. Mm -hmm. Even worse. Mm -hmm. Ten times worse. Mm -hmm. Now I got to fight for my clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got to fight to call, get on the phone and speak to my family. You know what right. that shit do to a nigga? Right. Mm -hmm. And then I get released again. Now you decided. And y'all still not giving me no fucking opportunities. No. Y'all telling me you go to parole, go to welfare, go do this, social security, go do that. I'm fucking 16 years old. My grandmother is like, fuck you, you, mm -hmm. you're done. I don't know what to do with you anymore. And y'all not going to pay for her to give me the help that I need. So it's like, so I'm saying that to say it gets like way deeper, like on some PTSD shit. Yes, it does. And then because again, and I'm and I'm I'm gonna leave it at this. When you look at other countries, like Norway, mm -hmm. Sweden, mm -hmm. they have restorative justice. Mm -hmm. If you fuck up, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna program. put you in a program, mm -hmm. but we're gonna put you in an environment that's just like if you was in the free world. Mm -hmm. There's a key to a, a, your room. Mm -hmm. Yada yada yada. You're gonna have a job inside the place. Right. This that and the third. Right. Don't hang yourself. Don't right. hang yourself. Exactly. Yeah. The yeah. only reason I fucking changed, bro, and I haven't been back to jail in two and a half years is because I got my education. Mm -hmm. That's the key thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the key thing. Yeah. But they don't want to do well, that. Well, well, yeah. well. Yeah. That's what it's about. Restorative that's versus a, punitive right. justice. He basically yeah. broke it down for me. That's what, right. that's what they it don't is. care. We're going to take a five minute break. They don't care. Oh, yes. yes. They, those are hard to find. <laughs> It's, it, I've been trying to find it low key is, but it's not. It is. It is. I know a lot of them. I need that. I need that. I, oh, I got you. I know a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we can. Yeah. I can credit. My life coach is I black. I can credit this can... whole shit to wow. a black, a black life coach <laughs> that kind of helped me yes. see, the, see the other side of myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was a female or a man? Female. Yep. Nice. Nice. My therapist is a dude. But it was a lot. It was a, I learned so me. much. That's why as long as they relate to us, like like a a cult, like, I can dig it. Yes. yes. Yeah. Like, He's black. It's kind of the same thing, but and, just, but just you not need the that same black certification. Man. I ain't tripping. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got to get certified for life coach? No, you got to be a, certified to be a therapist. Yeah. But not a life coach. No. no. Okay. No, okay. No. Although you should be. Yeah, you should. Mine's a therapist slash life coach. Yeah, I kind of feel like life coaching should come with some kind of Right. But my then, life, my then life coach people who are naturally license. like that. Yeah, sure. That, like, that's that their gift. Like, yeah. This you is what, what they're here to do. Great. You know I mean? Go get certified. I'm a life right. coach. But I'm happy you accept that, though, because there's some people that's not accepting to it. Like, oh, nigga, you don't got no fucking degree. Uh, it's, it's a lot of people that's not accepting to people not having yeah. that the, the, education. At the time or, that I started having sessions with her. When you talk to people her, enough, you realize the degree is like, to. the degree is mm -hmm. just a certification. Mm -hmm. If you could tell somebody is, you know what I'm saying? Good at something, they don't need to do And you could that prescribe medication too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's I, I, that, which is why I'd rather you go get certified. Get the degree. Like, I, I, you I, could I, tell. You, want you, the tell you could tell who, who actually like been in therapy mm -hmm. by the result of who they are in the present. Yes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, I can I can see it. You know what I mean? Because of what I've endured during that 60 days. Prior to that 60 days, I still was dealing with a lot of things, as you already know. Mm -hmm. So post 60 days, I'm like, okay, I get it. I understand why I operate the way I operate yep. and what I need to do and what I've done within those 60 days to help shift it. Mm -hmm. right. but, it but it's the reflex canceled out now. Mm -hmm. No, I'm still. I mean, it's, it's always a work in progress, bro. It, yeah. right. It's always a work in progress. But the hab the the habits, I've changed certain habits. Yes. And it's small things. It's not even like, like super fucking big shit. Pause. But it's small things like getting up and making my bed. Mm -hmm. When I get when I pick up my laundry from the laundry mat, yeah. putting my clothes away. Mm -hmm. New habits. Yeah. You understand yes. what I'm saying? Like little stuff like that. Right. You know what I mean? When I come in the crib, I put the TV on YouTube and I put on the, the meditation yes. stuff. So that's playing discipline. in the background yeah, while I'm moving calm. around. Discipline. Mm -hmm. It's exactly. always discipline. 
Those are different habits I, I didn't have prior to. Yes. It's, it's all it's it's always That's it's always maker. discipline. The difference maker. between point A and point B. Right. It's all it's all of it, all of it. Whatever mm -hmm. it is you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to get past, can you develop the discipline to get you to the point yes. you're trying to get to? Can, some can, people can develop. You do what you need to do when you don't want to do it. Yes, which, which and, is that's some, and that's another that's thing we that's, that's another right. thing we talked about was yes. uncomfortability. Yes, is being uncomfortable. Like stepping outside of your regular schedule program and what you're used to, how you're used to talking to people, dealing with people, and being uncomfortable with being told no. Because mm -hmm. I was, grew, I grew up a spoiled person, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm, I'm not used to somebody telling me nah, mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. And then I will go out and find a means to do it in a negative way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, the uncomfortability is stepping out of my regular schedule program. Instead of getting up and always making coffee, I'll make green tea. Mm -hmm. Right. Instead of getting up and Jumping straight on on the gram, yep. I'm gonna go and do a workout. Meditate, but I'm gonna leave my phone in the crib mm -hmm. while I'm working out. Right, mm -hmm. all those little little in the windows yeah. make a big a big difference. A, a, huge, a huge difference. Yeah. Right, yeah. success doesn't come to the comfortable. Yes, you exactly. Shouldn't walk around expecting to yes. be comfortable. That's mm -hmm. not how that works. Yeah. ever. I don't Definitely. know anybody who's ever been successful. <clears throat> Growth hurts. Who just it does. strolled mm -hmm. into it and it everything was all good. It hurts good. the people around you more, I know this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, some, um, from my yeah. experience. Yeah. Because I some people agree. try to make me feel guilty like, yeah. oh, you don't wake up early, you never check your phone. I said, no, what it is is that I wake up and I meditate. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. sleep next to my phone. I didn't even have my phone in the same room. He just told me that earlier. He said, yo, you never answer that on the other mm -hmm. phone. I said, because it's stressful. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people don't want anything from me on that phone, but to get on my nerves and for a favor. Mm -hmm. So I learned to choose when I feel like answering that phone. Mm -hmm. So now that I don't even wake up and check Instagram and stuff, mm -hmm. certain things I realized, like he said, I would just wake up and check certain shit would piss me off. It's such a trajectory for now, your day. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now that yeah. I wake up, I don't even, I, I do whatever I do, meditate, do my little yoga, I look at it, and a lot of things I laugh for that, that would have probably typically pissed me off in the past. Mm -hmm. So it is uncomfortable for us and something to get used to, but the other people around you, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't answer your phone, I called you at 8 o'clock. Yeah. For what? <laughs> to see what you were doing today. Entitlement. Like, yeah. It's like, a lot of entitlement. Oh, you don't fuck with me no more? There's a whole Text lot of entitlement. No, I do. I do fuck with you. This on the time I'm going to fuck Text with you. Because we're not, we're not growing. Me. We're, we're doing the same shit we did 15 Every years day. ago. You're asking Every me day. what bar am I going uh. You're asking me what job am I doing. And that's becoming an artist. You asking me what job am I doing today? I don't fucking go to the club every day for fucking fun. Mm -hmm. I don't like that shit all the time. I make it look fun. I pay to go there. Or if I'm not, I'm networking. But it's. But they don't know what that looks like. Right. They don't understand. They just see free liquor, for free entry, a, for them fun. It's just it's your fun. It's fun. Right. Yeah. And no. if you go into a for me, party, it's annoying. Why aren't you Makeup, taking me? getting dressed, oh, getting a ride, yeah. ah, taking yeah. pictures. Yeah. Ah, you want to drink, Kaya? Yeah, no, here. Yeah. Pass it to my friends. Like, I, it's, it's, it's annoying. Like, it's not the same. S speaking of, of networking, um, 50 brought you up on stage mm -hmm. twice. How did Bye. that happen? Bye. <laughs> um, I saw him at Coney Island. Uh, my manager actually told me to come. It was DJ Cell's block party at Coney Island. Shout out to DJ Cell. Um, yeah, I was first signed to DJ Cell ever years ago. A lot of people don't know. Oh, we we gonna get back to that. Yeah. We'll spend back um. So I went. Uh, my manager he always goes before me to assess the situation to see if it's niggas niggering or <laughs> come through. So he told me come through. Y'all know what that means. Y'all know what that means. That's why it's... As soon as you said that, I can picture it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, niggas looks real niggas. nourish in here. <laughs> nope, going someplace. Just saying it. So I went there. Um, they had a section next to fifth section. Um, fifth hat is familiar with who I am from around the way. I've been putting on for Queens by myself for a very long time. It's south side. South Queens, period. Right. Queens, and I'm not trying to sound cocky. Ain't no female out, outside of Nikki that's done what I've done independently. So Queens, period, for so years. Years. I've been on Tubi, Netflix. I've been on news for positive things with Lisa Evers three times. I've been on uh, Amazon Com. Like, everything I've done is independently. I've had jobs my whole career. I worked at Target, JCPenney's Portrait Studios, working mentally. This, that's, when, that's when I started to get into a career. Like, I got jobs, I got to get a career. So mm -hmm. I, worked into, I worked in law offices, call centers. I did whatever I had to do to get a dollar to invest in my career. Mm -hmm. Of course, during that course, it was getting tired and I was getting annoyed. annoyed. That's another story. But um, that day, we went to 50 Cent shit. Um, he saw me. Next day, he was like, oh, Kaya, he showed me love. He gave me one of his brands some bottles. Um, at this point, we were just chilling. Genuinely, I'm not a 
Yeah, I'm 50. Yep, yep. Yep. I'm not that type yeah. of female. I don't yeah. ever want to get with the impression like we're together or I'm, we're sleeping together because people will make these things up themselves. So I never want to give a person for a reason to think that. So we just genuinely chilling. I want my cousin, probably two of my homegirls. That's it. I don't never roll with a big crowd at all. I'm never with no more than three, five people at most. Mm -hmm. um, he goes to perform now. Say, bro, say, right, okay, come, come. All right, I'm coming. Back to the niggas niggering. Because even on the stage, it was only at most, I'll say about 10 females. Like outside of the three females I came with, it's probably about four or five on the side. It's a lot of men. Mm -hmm. They going and pushing the security like, ha. Ah. Mm -hmm. We not doing that. Because he over there going to get pissed off. Mm -hmm. My man's going to get pissed off. I'm going to get pissed off. Don't push me. I'm not, we not doing that. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right, let's go back to the stands and watch the show. I'm never opposed to being a fan of somebody I'm generally a fan. I'm a fan of 50 Cent. So I like to watch the show as an artist. I like to watch production. I like to watch being what's being done, how people coordinate their shows so I can learn from it. So I'm like, right, let's go back to the, whatever, let's enjoy the show. My man's Joffrey, shout out to Joffrey. He seen us walk up, I was like, Kai, where you going? I'm going back to my section. He's like, come on the stage. So I'm like, all right, the south side shit. All right, well, I hopped the side of the stage. <laughs> One of my homegirls real thick. My cousin thick, she couldn't make it. <laughs> she was thick as fuck, like, right. not fat, thick. So we couldn't get her up there. So she was just like, all right, she's a team player. She don't give a fuck. She stood right there until we was able to get her up there. You know what I'm saying? Right. So she stood right there. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. <laughs> um, we on the stage now. We chilling. 50s performing. Of course, he sees everybody's on stage. It's not mad niggas on stage. Mm -hmm. So... He sees me and him performing, whatever. Times go by. I'm arguing with somebody if I'm stealing my bottle. <laughs> now, this bottle was precious to me because 50 Cent himself gave it to me. So I wasn't even going to open it. Right. <laughs> you going to keep it. <laughs> Mr. C and my cousin Lennox was DJing. So I put it under the DJ's book. Chilling. My friend's like, oh, you got the bottle? Go get it. It's gone. I said, where the fuck is my bottle? So me and was standing right there. He said, that man right there just took <laughs> 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 Shout out to you, brother. <laughs> he said, that nigga right there just took your bottle. So I go, I said, oh, yeah, it's the red one. You know, he got, he got different color bottles. Mm -hmm. said, my boy, you took my bottle? Mm -hmm. He said, no, I got it from over there. I said, no, you didn't. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me you just took my bottle. He's like, yo, sis, here, if you want something, it's not that serious. I said, it is. You open it, you put your mouth on it. Like, what possesses you to go steal a DJ's bottle? Because I had a DJ's book. Violation. Violation. Shout out to this. Like, what you... My manager comes, he's like, yo, what's going on? I say, he stole my bottle. He's like, what? Yeah, yeah that's the type of time my Brooklyn niggas was on. Yeah, I'm from Queens, but I got Brooklyn niggas, big it Brooklyn is. niggas behind me don't play. They don't have no social media, none of it that. Is. So they're like, yo, what's going on? I say, those niggas stole my fucking bottle. Like, like, yo, what's good with you? Whole time my homegirl's like, hi, yo, he's calling you. He's calling you. I'm like, what? 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 He's like, yo, I'm like, all right, come. He take whatever cup I had in my hand. He's like, yo, show them where we from, tell them what we do. From Southside, he gave me the mic. I did a quick 16. And the crowd was very receptive to it. Was you didn't know. You didn't know he was gonna call you out at all. That was at all. At all. How'd the I, sixteen I, go? I don't. It was tough. The crowd was very receptive to it. I was like, oh shit. Well, can we hear it? Yeah, he shit. Wants you. I just did a, I'm straight on the south side. Crazy little chick named Kaya coming from a jungle with the lions and the tigers, movers and suppliers, shooters and the fighters, coming from ever with a service on the sightings. Shots fired, bang bangs, a man down. Most don't make it alive on my town. If you go missing, you probably gotta be found. If I'm on the run, I'm hopping the Greyhound. Know some young boys moving work inside the lobby. You know what they say, another day, another body, or another dollar for the right product. Niggas serve fiends, whether it be your mother or your father, what's the problem? Bitches, I go with church snake. Talking to the 12, Fed Knox and Jakes. That'll get you killed for the price of a low rate. Just to make making sure you're dead, I'm popping it, but you're weak, motherfucker. So it is a quick. It was a quick sound side right. shit. Right. 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 And I was like, oh, oh, she's a sound side. Sound side. Does it sound like a place yeah. I want to visit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's calm, yeah. It's From calm. It's calm. So yeah, I did that, and it was like, oh shit. So after that, my manager was like, yo, anytime fifty in town, now we just gonna run down. Like yeah. we gonna go, mm -hmm. we gonna go try to see you. You know what I'm saying? So the next time he did, um, ah. Uh, the water park in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So he went there, he did the same thing. Then the freestyle there. Cool. The next few times I seen him, he just showed me love to bring me at his club. So respectfully, being an artist, I understand every place is not called for a fucking freestyle. Mm -hmm. We in the middle of the club, we drunk, mm -hmm. nobody don't need no fucking mm -hmm. freestyle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just was appreciative of the love, yeah. being around him, 
pictures ah, mm-hmm. ah, but I never had the meeting mm-hmm. when people keep asking me like yo 50 ever met up with you ever mm-hmm. I never did that so mm-hmm. that's was just the aspect of me waiting for that part like I do, never do, stressed him I never do you feel pressure when you get like a cosign like that that people just expect automatically yes they supposed oh you're supposed to be G-unit and mm-hmm. this and did, I did. Da, 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 like. because people assumed I was G-unit and people also didn't want to fuck with me that don't fuck with 50 because they assume that was Oh, that's right. crazy. Right. Mm. So that's when I was like, all right, now when right. we having this talk, like, I need, but I want to get with 50 now because now I'm taking this flack and now mm. I'm I'm kind of being blackballed by other people because they mm. assume, like people was posting like, congratulations, Kai Baby G unit off a of fucking freestyle. Like, mm-hmm. girl, I just went to go network. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> he showed me love, love and, I'm, yeah. and I'm embracing it and I'm, and I'm working. That's what I'm shout doing. Shout out to Fifth, man. Shout out to guy. Fifth, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a, yeah, but He's that a don't happen every day. So, right. That's why they're assuming that you're Yeah, you're so on people yeah. people twisting the narrative of like Aren't I, you the I try to call him. I don't I don't remember him doing that before. Yeah, I don't recall him doing yeah. that either. Yeah. Rapper? I don't, I don't. Female rapper? I don't remember him co yeah. yeah. In that yeah. fashion. Not in, in that, 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 that fashion. No. Olivia's yeah. a singer. No, yeah, yeah Olivia's a singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. So I, I, I took very I was very appreciative uh, appreciative of that and I just worked. So certain people like try to switch the narrative, even when I was trying to perform at the bar play, like, yo, tag with y'all. Mm. And so you're trying to call him out? I'm like, what? Never. I would never disrespect that man to play Who him said like that. that. Like, niggas. Would... And so I told Hoffman, I said, I never, I never, niggas you can ask this lady, I never had beef with a female rapper or really a female like that. Probably female when I was a teenager, you know, yeah, stupid yeah, yeah, teenage yeah. fight shit. Mm-hmm. But as an artist, I never had beef with a female rapper. There's always niggas trying to stop my shine, niggas trying to twist my words, mm-hmm. niggas trying to make it seem like I said something that I didn't say. Mm-hmm. I would never play that man of disrespect. And why? Mm-hmm. How could I? Mm-hmm. How could I when he showed me nothing but all I did was answer questions and niggas tried to turn it into, oh, Kyle called me out, huh? Wow. Somebody asked me a question, how y'all asking me, why y'all never have the meeting? That mean, that's a busy man. Yeah. And I'm never going to press him and get call him a hundred times. Yo, me, 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 me. Yeah. No, he's going to do it when, he, when, when it's time. Was that so ever talked fact, about? I never saw him again to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So it's when the I see entitlement him, from people right. thinking that you're supposed to be. Yeah. Right. right. That's, that's, that's people crazy. think I have a certain entitlement yeah. to this man that I yeah. don't. That's crazy. I don't. And I speak of that all the time. So I'm happy on this platform now. Because mm-hmm. I'm not to play on un- any other podcast. We, we all know levels in our life. Like, I'm not Beyonce. <laughs> like, and a lot of other podcasts is not my expert opinion. Mm-hmm. So they don't hear it when I say it. So yeah. now maybe people can hear it yeah. when I'm saying that. I never tried to play that man yeah. when I said we never sat down. I asked, uh, answered a simple question. question. Did you meet with 50 yet? No. 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 However, when I go out, mm-hmm. that man shows me the love. utmost respect and love. Yeah. And that's just that. Yeah. It's just the bottom line. When he has a time to meet and when he feel like working with other artists at the moment, mm-hmm. we're going to do it. Mm-hmm. But he doing his studio, in due time. world tour. Yeah, shows, yeah, everything. Yeah. Respectfully, look, he, it's not like he signed other artists. Now, if he signed mad female artists, 20 artists, then anybody else. Now, he playing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that's how we be so, so, like, I, want, I want to say shout out to Fifth for that yes, world tour. Yes. Yeah, yes. Shout out to Fifth. Final lap you know, tour. Final lap tour. He's out there breaking records and all that yeah. shit. Like, yeah, yo, show me love. Crazy. Like, yeah, yo, show me love. Yeah, I love you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah, harass nigga. Love, I already right know how stressful it is to get a show together. So mm-hmm. imagine a fucking world tour. Mm-hmm. Right. And then you like, when you going to sit down with Kaya? Nigga, when I finish my fucking tour at my fucking studio, probably. Like, you know what I'm saying? So right. people put that out there and people put it in the air. So it's like, just to make that clear, I never was calling that man out. No, 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 I would never. For female artists, how important is the co- cosign? I think it's. A, I think it's. It can. Go, it can take you a long yes. way. Like mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying, just being co-signed by um, any major artist, it just puts the light on you. It puts the eyes on you. And right. if you have the talent to back it up, you yep. get to go. You know, what I'm mm-hmm. saying, because all they want to really know is if you can rap. If you're really, really talented for Kaya's, for me. You know, what I'm saying, like you. And I think that's what we. That's what we ask for. It's just the opportunity. Right, right. And that's where the cosign comes in. It's the opportunity to hear us, mm-hmm. let you know that we are talented and mm-hmm. not just superficially talented. Right. Like, really talented. talented. And working. And work for and grinding. Doing it. Like, even you know when I went to Tycoon and posted that, 50 didn't pay. Like, the world will look at it like, oh, wow, 50 paid for it. No, no. nigga, that was you my that. money for mm-hmm. my shows and features and whatever. Mm-hmm. And I took it to go to Tycoon and network. And just be around him and show him like, yo, I'm, I'm here to work. Like, I'm I'm doing whatever it takes. And it's a lot. People told me in my ear, like, yo, Kaya, 
He might not say it, but he he see it. He respect that shit because there's niggas that don't do that for him. Do. It's niggas that be asking, yo, I need ah uh, for this. Mm -hmm. I ain't never asked that man for nothing but a chance to have a And yep. he gave that to me, yep. and I take advantage of every second I got of it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Besides 50, what was your other biggest cosign? Both of y'all. Buster. Mm. Um... Uh, Jada, Cam, mm. Jada Pinkin, Ever Come mm. I Do, Missy Elliott, Shaquille O'Neal. Jada Pinkin? Nah, Jada Pinkin. Is that why you want the hair? Nah, nah, uh, I have my hair coming. <laughs> my first cosign uh, was KD. You stupid. stupid. My first case cosign was KD. Kevin nice, Durant. nice. This was, after Kevin battle, Durant? this was after Battle Rap. And, and at the time, you know, well, his name is still KD Trey Five. Right. So, you know, I'm on Twitter and I'm like, who, you know what I'm saying? He quoted my bars and everything. I'm just retweeting everybody. Right. So then when I go back and look and I'm like, KD Trey Five, I click on it and I see it's Kevin Durant. I'm like, Oh, I nah. What's KD fire? pull up Girl, anywhere with fire. my top Is missing. Me? <laughs> the, uh, Jill Scott. Oh, come on. Ooh, Jill Scott. That's one of mine. That's one of mine. Jill fire. Scott tweeted me after. Jill Scott? Jill fire. Scott. That's like, ill, I yo. Forgot, I want to say big. my misfit battle or either my e-heart battle or my misfit battle, but she quoted my ball. You know what I'm saying? And, and tweeted me. That Fire. to me, that was that's the best cosign I could have yes. ever. I never it's thought. Much better than KD. Yes. What? I would have never thought. When Estelle wrote me recently, I said, Estelle, Estelle take Estelle. me to Estelle. New York. I want to go. Yeah, I congratulate you on the on the Jill Scott. Yeah, just and everything. That Jill Scott. Because Kevin Durant doesn't know how to judge battles. Nah, KD. You know so crazy. He said that. He said that. He said that. In the meantime. Um, Jill, if you're free. Jill, yes, yes. that was the last we time you, I seen you tap into Battle Rap. KD I don't know too. if you're still watching it, but please tap back in. Yes. There's way more better females. We rapping better. You are more than welcome to, to join us. Yeah, that's fire. That's fire. Both of those. All of those. Yes. All of those. Yeah. All of those now, um, Ghostface. Yeah. Oh yes, Ghostface too for that me. That shit was fire. Uh, Big Daddy Kane. Big Daddy Kane. Kane loves you though. He yeah. always posts your show love. I seen some remixes it? with him too. Mm -hmm. My, I he introduced lie. me to Paul Rosenberg and we went to go chop it up in his hotel room after an event. That was a big yeah. moment for me. Mm -hmm. like, that was I would say my favorite would probably be K-Slay. Yes. Rest in peace, K-Slay. Rest in peace, K-Slay. Rest in peace, K-Slay. Rest in peace, K-Slay. The drama king is in the building. The drama king is in the building. The drama king is in the building. Slay taught me... I feel like the biggest lesson in this shit is just to don't sacrifice nothing for yeah. your dream. Like mm -hmm. I like Slay was one of the first people to recognize who I was. Him and Tony Yayo, they was on a radio station. They was talking about I forgot what event we did, but they brought me up and they just showed mad love. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So he reached out, and at the time I was working at I want to say FedEx. I had a nine to five, and I was pretty much having to work all the time. So anytime he Fuck called FedEx. me, right? Damn, anytime he called me, I was just like, Slay, like, and you, I don't know if y'all know, Slay called you last minute. He gonna call you like, yo, yeah. tonight, yeah. pull up. And, up? and yeah. flex through the yeah, I'm like, Slay, yeah. I'm working. He's like, all right, copy, right? Next couple of, he called me like twice and I was working, couldn't right. do it. He's like, I bet. He stopped fucking with me. Like, he wouldn't answer my DMs. I had to run down on him. Right. I'm like, yo, Slay, what we doing? He was just like, nah, email me your songs. I'm like, all right. Emailed him the songs, no response. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no response. Right. Time passed, time passed. He hit me and he just like, I'm, I'm at work, right? So I, and he hit me, he was like, look, this is the last time I'm gonna call you. <laughs> I want you to pull up tonight. If you got a job, you better make a decision. I'm like, but Slay, she was like, he's like, look, I understand you gotta pay your bills, but if this is your dream, you mm -hmm. better not put nothing before this. Mm -hmm. That's real. If I call you again, you better, I don't care what you're doing. Yep. Come to this radio station. Right. That was the last time I ever put my nine to five before my yep. music career. Mm. When yep. he, he, it just, I was just like, because he said, look how much time you wasted. Facts. Because you're clocking in. Facts. I could have been got you someplace. I could feel you know that. What I'm saying? So yeah. shout out to Slay. You I know what I'm saying? That. And not only because of that, he's one of the only DJs that really tapped into underground yes, yes. and consistently yeah. did it. Like he yeah. played my music, he talked about me, he shouted me out. He, it was just and he you didn't know, charge, and he didn't charge. He didn't. He didn't. <laughs> he did not. He charge. charged it to the fucking game. That's what he charged. Right. We need he more to the DJs game. like that in the yeah. city yeah. that's still really tapping into the real artists and you know what I'm saying, letting us get our flowers and showcase um our skills. I don't know so, if we'll ever get another slave. I, I really, not not will. Slave. I really I don't. don't. We'll ever get another slave. Yeah, that's that's nah. that's. 
fucked up. Yeah. yeah. It's so somebody should be slave. somebody should have the heart to take step off. In. I mean, I'll be, I'll be honest. I give a lot of credit to Flex for for starting that Thursday night thing that he was doing. We was challenging artists mm-hmm. and playing. Yeah, definitely okay. clap okay. it up. Because I, I worked hard to get there. Yeah. The yeah. niggas think me and him is like no. Yeah. I, for my Flex. first, Yo, y'all some for unhopeful. my first freestyle. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. For my y'all first some freestyle, unhopeful Flex. motherfuckers. Why can't we get another person that would tap into the underground? Because, because we in we in this business. Like agenda. No, like agenda. no, no, I'm not that's saying. That's like saying no, listen, listen, another Michael Jackson. Listen, uh, what I'm saying is that might be close, but no, I'm not saying like K. Slay. Rest in peace. There's nobody like him. He's one of one. But why is it not possible that there can emerge another DJ okay. who is focused. tapped into From the my underground? Perspective, no, 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 wait, hold on, hold on. You, you used the wrong word. Though? You said, why isn't it possible? Anything's possible. Right. Okay. Anything's possible. Because y'all shooting this shit down. We don't feel it. We don't see it happening. N- exactly. We don't feel it. Possible, it. Possible, it. possible never be another sure. Slate. Yeah. Unlikely. Yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. right. what, what Slate did took a lot of heart. You know what I'm saying? It took yeah. a lot Listen. of heart for him yep. to move like that. It took a lot of heart for him to... Yo, you know how many times K. Slate, with his reputation being what it was, put it on the line and said... This yes. person is dope. Mm-hmm. Yes. In an industry where everybody is just waiting to co-sign the person who's already yeah, on fire. About it. Right. Nobody doing ever it. fucking does that. Like yeah. that shit is nah. almost un- look, just yeah. look around. Yeah. Somebody gotta blow up mm-hmm. before, you before, before even everybody hear. says, yo, they're dope. Griselda been there for years. If yeah. showed up, said, yo, they're dope, here come everybody else. Mm-hmm. That's how that's how that shit go. And Slade did that shit consistently yep. with Non-stop. people who never, never heard, heard of, of before for years. And said, yo, they're dope. I don't know what the His fuck y'all are doing, but everything. catch on. Yep. All right, cool. All right, cool. All right. I, I, I get magazine, that, Mecca. You're right. right. Yep. So you do it, Mecca. I do it all the time. Nah, like do it like I do it, do it all do it, the like, time. Do it, do I do it, it not all a the time. Yeah, and I'm not, also not a, not a DJ. DJ. Nah, but you know how to break dance. That's enough. I'm not a DJ. I'm not on the radio. But every time I come in here, nine times out of ten, when he says "What's up?" the first thing I do is shout out somebody who I think is dope. Mm-hmm. I've done it several times. That's a fact. So you know what you he should just do did it on, today. on Mechanism you Mondays. You know it wasn't music. He yeah. just did you it should today. start playing these niggas' records. I don't want to get. I don't want to get my shit flagged. Why would you get a flag? Why you get because flagged? because if I don't. Own it, YouTube yeah, is you real funny style. Of it. It's not yes. them doing it. Okay, it's not them oh, it's doing YouTube, it's quarter yes. life. Like YouTube, yeah. quarter Instagram, life. Facebook. Okay, okay. I've, yeah. I've, you're I've, muted in certain countries and regions. I've, yeah. I've posted songs I, I that I've flagged on my own songs. Exactly. I got flagged on my own songs. Exactly. Yes. Own songs. exactly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 I have posted too. songs that I've A and R. Yeah, was asked to post them mm-hmm. and still got the red notice on my shit. Talking about hey, just so you know, we're not playing your shit. All these places they can't see your posts. Well, the way to get around that is you have to go to where the song is up. Or what, whatever, whatever streaming platform, DSP streaming platform, or yeah, the distributor. Mm-hmm. You got to go to them, take the link to that video, mm-hmm. and submit it for for white listing. White listing. White, white listing. Okay. Yeah, white label. And they will clear that link, that particular link. Okay. Anyway, of being you flagged posted. of the songs. All right, so Mega, okay. you on deck, okay. man. Okay. You about to put on all the niggas that, that need to be heard, bro. I feel like that's a big yeah. shot. Can you do that with battle rap? Because <laughs> sure. every time I try <laughs> no to post problem. a clip of my battle rap, and it's, it's quarter lap ASAP. Yeah, you, but you got to talk to whoever, like whoever owns whoever the footage. Owns the the footage. They yeah. have to submit it for They you. have to tell quarter lap. Gotcha. Um, give her the green I couldn't post okay. my own on a radar freestyle on yeah. TikTok that for months. That was crazy. And I just yeah. gave up. I hate that. And when I hit up game, he's like, oh, it does it to me too. So I said, copy. That's why a lot of times people are like, why you don't do Talk Nice Tuesdays anymore? Because I'm looking for original beats now. I'm tired of mm-hmm. helping other artists that's on already their song grow because I did their beat. And then I'm tired <laughs> of getting flagged because I did their beat. Mm-hmm. So now I'm just going to look forward to doing original beats. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's just or not. reach out to that artist and be like, yo, can you wait? not We're not going to do that. Sometimes I feel fucking pathetic when I look back at how many times I reach out to a certain artist. Like, oh, shit, I look like a motherfucking groupie. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, no. No. She <laughs> <laughs> don't even say scene. I feel like you know how when ladies that make shit, yo. you know how when ladies make a post like look at this nigga shit. talking to himself in my dance for years. That's right. how I feel. So that's I'm not. Crazy. I'm not. That's some cold oh, shit. Man, that's not doing funny. it. But again, sometimes to get some place that you've never been, you have to do things that you've never done. I'm about to say, and especially with that, sometimes they don't even be seeing shit. I ain't even gonna lie. It's been, it's been people reaching out to me. I tell yeah, them my dance is wild. So I, an artist them. bigger than me, I can't. Yeah, expect it takes that. me a while to get through it, so yeah. don't take don't don't take it personal. Well, speaking of doing things that they've never done, anybody. 
watch this Cat Williams interview. No, <laughs> no, no, I kept falling asleep. What do you Shout mean things that they've never Williams. done? It's too long. 3,000 books in a oh, year is egregious. Exactly. But, thank you. But thank you. There's the no specify. way in the world Did Cat you? Williams read 3,000 books it in one year. Of books, yeah, exactly. Wow, it is a Because I never even seen a nigga in prison who has nothing else to do with their time read 3,000 books in a fucking year. What if you read that cat in the box? Cat in the hat? What if the page? Cat in the hat is little. Unless he was reading pamphlets. Pass those paper towels. Unless he was reading pamphlets. I mean, if he counted if he counted the pamphlets, then what does that mean? Pamphlets? It means it's possible, right? I feel like, look, I feel like- 3,000? He was probably, what, he was like 14? I mean, yeah, 15 years old. Look, look, look. Oh, time out. And then, yeah, exactly. But then here's the other shit, right? I love Cat Williams, Williams, right? I'm just saying, I'm I just pointing Cat. out yeah. what Shannon Sharp, shout out to him, did not negate on that interview. Mm -hmm. You left home at 13 years old from Ohio mm -hmm. and went to Florida. Mm -hmm. You go to Florida. He said that for eight hours out the day that he was in the library reading. Mm -hmm. Cool. Also, within that eight hours, he was stealing car radios and making $2,000 a day. How the fuck are you homeless, bro? How the fuck are you homeless? How? You don't know about that. Making $2,000 a day you at just 13, want 14 years are you old? Gonna, are you going to rent a crib to a 13-year-old? That's not the point. That's no, that's if you got the bread, if you got the bread, are you gonna you rent the house? No a thirteen-year-old walks up to you like, "Yo, I got the money. You, you rent if the I crib to me. Are you, you gonna do it? Hold on, hold on, Matt. You gonna do it, Matt? I'm just asking the question. You gonna do it, bro? Yes or no? You, you, you're a former street guy. If you was making that type of money at that age, you gonna figure out a way, bro. If you that smart, if you're reading three thousand books a fucking year, if you that smart. Right. And you're making two thousand dollars a day. You gonna tell me you ain't gonna find a way to find some place to live? I feel like it's not. in a different I, state. I, 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 Come on, man. But you, but you don't know. Crazy to think. I just think some of the shit he said was exaggerated. Not too. saying he's lying. It was There's just exaggerated. Of kids emancipating themselves at 13, 14. So I don't feel like it's so out of the reach to say that that's the case. Right. Um, not but to I just think the fact that, that overshadows I think he's a everything kid. he was really trying to say. Like the books, the four point one, and all of that other shit was just entertainment. Everything else he said was facts. I felt like. How do y'all feel about the 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 comedians or actors in Still skirts? In jokes? No, in skirts. Oh, in skirts. Oh, that, yeah. I think that's true. Me being an actor, it's a little weird. And from from, from look, elementary who's the school. only white? Who's the only it's white a actor that? Hold on, hold on, one at a time. One at a time. Shug made a post about white white comedians and been actors because he it. was just like, yo, why y'all just pinpointing right. um, black actors and actresses and Jim Carrey and I've been doing it. Yeah, Robert but Williams the did comparison, it ben, let's, say it, was, let's yeah. say it was it's like 20 white comedians, Come on. it's been like 80 black, Come on. 80 black, the, the, the yeah. ratio. Mm -hmm. And again, how they view it is way differently than right. how we view it. Mm -hmm. So putting a white man in a dress to the white community is not the same as putting it's a not. black man in a dress to the black community because now the perception has changed on him and right. that affects his ability to do certain things within that community. And I think so, it's sad because people don't realize as an actor, we're not looking for the acceptance at the time, I feel like, mm -hmm. of... I'm a black man in a dress. Welcome on that. This white nigga is mad successful. He's willing to do X, Y, Z, and people yeah. think it's funny. Yeah. So now I'm a show niggas. I'm gonna do it too. It ain't no. This but making do we less know of a which came first? The white and the black man in the dress. Do I, we know which. I saw which the, one of them was first. I saw motherfucking Miss <laughs> Doubtfire first before I ever saw a black man in a dress. Dustin Hoffman. Miss Doubtfire from when I was a kid. It's the whole movie. Okay. Okay. So you go back further okay. than that. Yeah, um, okay. Okay. Miss Doubtfire was the first movie as a kid. I saw. Even Little Rascals when the little boys took into the ballet school and they had the ballet dress for kids. Wilson, yeah, Wilson. Little Rascals was Miss Doubtfire before RuPaul. Yes. I yes, never saw yeah. RuPaul until on the okay. doubt. Tootsie was before both of them. And Flip Wilson was before Flip Wilson was what way about before, before that, all of them. The Wong Fo with um what, Mike Wesley with Snipes. Mike um Wesley Snipes. Two Wong Fu. Yeah, two Wong Fu. Was that before that? I mean Doubtfire? Flip that was before Doubtfire. Yeah. That movie was before Doubtfire. Which one? Yeah, but Flip Wilson, who's a black comedian. I don't believe I've ever saw that. Okay. And his main character was a woman named Geraldine. Okay. Okay. If you ever watch that, you did. Okay. So they, but, 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 these are different times. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And according to the interview, wearing a dress is bigger than just yeah, the man. acting role for these guys who are doing it now. My, what I, my takeaway from Kat saying it is there's a lot of people who are doing, taking any shortcut they can 
right. in order to get ahead because they're not that talented. Did right. y'all watch um, um, Tyler Perry's documentary? No. no. So then I can't take it as that because I watched it and I really appreciated him more. And I have yeah. so much more respect for Tyler him. Tyler Perry's not a comedian. Because Spike Lee, no, listen to how Medea even came about. So it was an interview. Spike Lee tried to play him, and then in turn, turn showed him respect. And that man gave him a sound stage at his studio in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So I feel like as black people, we try to turn on each other for wearing certain things and not even understanding their story. But his story never came from emasculating him as a man. It came from his upbringing. And when he was doing shows, he was using his how many you had jobs. Mm -hmm. Them shirts was flopping. And Tyler Perry yeah. had a regular job mm -hmm. for years, and ain't not one black person wanted to help him. Support him. People were dropping out of his place. He was homeless. Nobody was showing up. He was homeless for mm -hmm. real. Mm -hmm. And when he said, one day I just had to do it because nobody, the cast wasn't even showing up. Mm -hmm. And he said, I got such a big response from it. Mm -hmm. I just kept doing it because people loved Medea. And Medea came from the women that helped him and supported him from men mm -hmm. abusing him and beating on him because mm -hmm. he found out later the person he thought was his father was never his father. Mm -hmm. And that means to abuse him bad, beat his ass. And women, Saves him. So that's where the strong Medea role came from. It's mm -hmm. not this, I want to put in the ah, ah, ah. Even now to Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe was his angry uncle. His, his uncle was dead ass in the documentary. That's why I encourage everybody to watch Tyler Perry's documentary. His angry ass uncle still mm -hmm. to the day sound just like Joe. The right. lady who's Medea sounds sound just I think like that, I think there's that. an agenda to emasculate. I'm sorry. Do you think there's an agenda to emasculate black men? Certain things. But when it comes from Tyler Perry's point of view, no. Because there's a story behind it. But certain things for entertainment, me being entertainment from a child that goes back, because I was in school plays. Mm -hmm. Nobody's thinking about that. It's like, who's going to be George Washington? Who's going to be this? Who's going to be that? And then you go back to when we used to play Egyptians and this. Some niggas wore dresses and skirts. Them outfits was dresses. I don't give a fuck what you want to call it. Tobas, whatever the fuck it's called. Mm -hmm. They're dresses in today's Yeah, day but there's day. a masculine and version what, and a and feminine, feminine version. version. But and that. It's, yes, it's called acting. And this is why I would like to be in love English class. It's called that for a reason. It's called entertainment and acting for a reason. This mm -hmm. is not who I am. I am playing a character, even down to Halloween. Look at its costume. Clown. A killer clown, <laughs> though, right? Yeah, I'm a clown. And, 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 and the tights mm -hmm. and that stupid little skirt shit he fucking wearing, whatever the fuck it is. Mm -hmm. But nobody cares because nobody really knows if it is black or white. Mm -hmm. But if niggas was to find that it was black, it's an uproar. Niggas can't. Why? Of course. It's, it's entertaining. Of course. You know we're judging. But it's, but it's, it's not. But why, though? But it's not entertaining. It's, you. it's not for one. I've never looked at a man in a dress and was like, oh, oh, oh this you is cool, hilarious. Son. You never I mean, laughed I've at Wanda like or Shanae? You never laughed at Wanda or Shanae? I did. I, I did. <laughs> I did. Me dying, Shanae nigga. Shanae is hilarious. Even the clump time me dying, the, nigga. All nigga, the fat ass. Wanda, no. Any man in a dress is hilarious. Because I'm not thinking of you as a dress. It's a comedian. It's comedy. It's outside of the norm. But it's humiliating. It's I, not. I I and that's what they that's call it, the feel. humiliation ritual. I, listen, I'm, I'm not And that's what people I'm make it. Third right. party, right? Because if you half a grown up, you're like, say from elementary school, I want to be an actor. You're just an actor. We know half a like, and we know you give up. We know you can fight. We know you're a man of honor. You have a girlfriend. You might even have a family, but you've been acting your whole life. If you do a role from young, like all these niggas did it from young, Jamie Foxx, all of them, whoever cat was, it's not new. They've been doing this shit. I never looked at Martin and Will Smith and Eddie Murphy like, oh, that nigga's a bitch. Cause he, I never did. I sat there and laughed my fucking ass off and I went to go watch part one, two, and three. Cause it was entertaining. Mm -hmm. I never in life said, ah, I'm not doing that. But that's, that's you, but no, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's you, you but that's you. But my question is, that's, why? That's us, that's us but as, as but why? But, 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 but that's no, their that's, job. That's us as viewers, right? I feel like comedians dressing up and taking roles and demasculating themselves mm -hmm. is a form of passage. In Hollywood, that's that's what well, I believe. But you see, but but black, when women do it, it's not a problem. Black comedians, black comedians. Okay. Well, that's a lot of roles when women have to you do. Certain films, they put a mustache, like a man, like a comedian. Comedy shit. No. Nobody makes a big deal about it. Yeah, but it's a difference for a man. That's not okay. Remember, because it's a female that's doing it. 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 Because if you worked, up, if you worked what, in a circus, what, what, what I'm never going to laugh sense. at you. Yeah. But he doesn't you work in a circus. circus. But no, let me use that as an example. If you worked in a circus, yeah. I'm never going to laugh at what you put on because that's your job. But you're, all right. That's like basketball back in the days when niggas wore poom poom shorts. 
Nobody said shit because that's what they it was. They we weren't called Pum Pum Shorts. But that's what it is, though. But that's what I'm saying. Now, they were called Pum Pum Shorts. Exactly. It's a difference. Exactly. Y'all made it. Y'all made it. Y'all made it something that was never not. We here to watch basketball. We're not here to look at Pum Pum Shorts. So if you're watching a movie, a comedy special, we here to laugh and enjoy time with our day, our family. We're not here. Damn, this nigga pulling the dress. I'm out. Like, we're not yeah. here for that. Yeah, but. Like, but, people make things bigger than what they should be. From a man's perspective. I feel like it's From a man's perspective. When I start to see it too much, right, just, right. Right. It, must, exactly. it becomes concerning. Exactly. Now it's OD. Exactly. When, I, when I hear Dave yes. Chappelle now tell stories yes. about, yo, exactly. I was Blue on a movie street, set, and all, yes. all of a sudden yeah. there was a dress in my room waiting for me. Now it's and OD. And people were it's, trying to convince right. me. All yes. these influences like, on com- Instagram. Back specifically, back now it becomes OD. weird. Like, okay. Back then, though, and that's why I mentioned the clumps and Martin. Like, back then it was funny. Like, ah, now I do No, even back then, that was a ritual for them even back then like the showing up in dresses this shit is not new this is just because cat williams started talking about it this shit has been talked about for decades and why did zelly do it why samuel jackson Des- he do they, it? they don't know he don't fit that role but wesley know, did told you. you and wesley's wesley not a comedian they stood right. they stood the nigga in that, that lead to blade the nigga from boys in the hood whatever he was What's he killed himself well. he always blade? played that role. I'm saying some people get casted as that role. Uh, like that. Really type of guy name. You gotta it. stand. You gotta stand on it. Yes. What's the lady name Did who played Will Clint? Smith on and, and Fresh Prince? She's always an angry black woman. Viv. I forgot her name, but Aunt Aunt Viv. Viv, Aunt Viv's sister. She sang too. The life oh, girl. Oh, okay. She's always about. casted as an angry, angry black, black woman. woman. Yeah. So Denzel's always casted as a strong, angry black man. And so is uh the old nigga Morgan Freeman. He never looked younger day in his life, even when he was young. I'm love, I love you, I'm sorry. Morgan Freeman. But that's what it was. He, they just don't fit it, so that's what it is, and that's the roles they're always and gonna they're not get. And they're the not white, that's you know the roles the they're always gonna get. The Wayne's, the Wayne's always you know play saying? those roles. Like, like yeah. shit, crazy. They got one. No, so I'm, either you gonna I'm be. I'm not a fan of it though. Some people choose, and it sounds it. hard. Some people choose it's to a, just be a how it is and yeah. broke, and some yeah. people choose like I don't give a fuck to do what I gotta do. And there's so many examples where like literally all of our greats, you see them in dresses, you see them in certain types of roles. I'm not the comedians you talk about. Oh, yeah, comedians. Yeah, not a comedian. And it's just right. like I wouldn't even put him in that bracket. He's all not a comedian. Them, yeah. Like even Dave Chappelle. All of them. No, Mike no, Dave, no, Dave never did it. Never Dave, 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 Dave never did it. Never wore a dress. No, no. A, um, not a dress, but he played the a gay role. Shit. Yes, he, he did. A female role. Yes, before. he did. Oh God, there was a clip. There's a clip. There's a clip. Where? Mike Epps. It's all over. Where? What movie with this? Yeah, God, don't give me. I was one of them shows like Saturday Night Live. You got to prove that. I don't believe you. Yeah, he got the pearls with the lipstick. Pearls in his hair with the lipstick on. He has a regular hair. Cut, but he got the lipstick with the pearls. Put a dress on. Was that on yeah. his show though? It was on. It doesn't no, matter. It wasn't a dance show. He was playing it Prince. Was Get out of here. You just no, described no, no, it. Was it was Prince. 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 Oh, <laughs> it was Prince. It was guys, I, I, just, I, I, that's probably Prince gay, though. Oh, did y'all know Mike Epps played a gay character before? No, I never knew that. Did you know that? In what movie? It was a show. Oh, I want to say, um, uh, what's that show on HBO about the mafia with the white guy? Um, Sopranos. Sopranos. Chris Tucker played it. Every played they it. all have done it, so it. Not Dave Chappelle, gotta, bro. Dave not Dave Chappelle. Let's, let's, let's cut. Let's, you saw, Dave, you saw you the love video, right? You are yeah, not I a part of the video. conversation. I did. I did. They, he had pearls in a dress on. That sounds That's like Ali the Prince role he did on the Chappelle show. I'm always on both sides of the fence. You gotta find that. You gotta find that. I got you. I'm always on both sides of the fence. I get y'all as a man how y'all don't agree with it. But as an entertainer, it's like, do I stay broke? When I saw that on support for my community that I'm not gonna get. Chris Tucker. Oh, I do. I do what I gotta do so I get to a level where I want to. I don't gotta do that. You know Here's the That's issue. That's like what a Here's lot of jobs, with that. period. If you compromise your own morality mm-hmm. or your own standards for money, where does it end? That's what I'm it saying. That's no why end. I'm on the fence with both. You it's either no go end. into it thinking, let me do this now, I'm going to oh, bully my fuck, way man. in, or you just be like, I'm not, I'm fuck, not doing it at all. What? Yeah. <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Yeah. Dave Chappelle. Hello. I was, He's dude, not I wearing a dress, though. He just acting like the shit. It was the pearls and the lipstick. Yeah. And the lipstick. Yes. That was way back in the day. Chris Tucker was oh. Sucker Fifth, fifth That's Element. That's how it's Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, you yeah. like women oh. in Fifth Element. But he was still like. He was, he was but like, that was a crazy he was, role. He was banging every chick moving in Fifth Element. And that's the only thing I'm saying. For dumb, 
back Ew. then, they probably were looking like, I, this was the you white niggas were doing to get shit. on the last Oh, shit. that's AI. I'm not some saying it's like, now I'm a black man, I'm not doing that. But I was saying, now it's a lie. Now niggas wasn't using that to get on. Now it's OD. Yeah, not to get on. What's his name? Robert Williams is Robert Williams. Yeah, not to get on. I'm just saying, as a black person, like being that I watch a lot of documentaries, the things that they even had to go through, different to pay, and not getting casted, they probably feel like, all right, let me do this so maybe I could be. Considered an equal, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. let me do this till I get, yeah, and then. But sometimes it didn't work out in everybody's favor like I that. I just feel like so I understand both parts. Like some I, niggas I, now is like, oh, nah, man. I'm not. It doing should have been enough yeah, this, niggas I, to pay attention. Bernie Mac had a clip right. where they was right. trying to get nigga, the boy to I just feel like in Hollywood there isn't there isn't there aren't many representations of a strong black male. But but that's intentional. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's intentional. Mm-hmm. I believe that. You get what I'm saying? It's I intentional. And I, and I also feel like strong is what you. I also feel like strong is what you make it. Like if you buy, I don't respect Tyler Perry because he did me the eye. But if you buy now, I respect him because he gave black people jobs. And he gave people sound stages and opportunities. No, 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 no. Other to, black to, to each his own. Now we, we right. know that Tyler Perry was doing this. And that's why I say my favorite saying is to from, each their own. From his begin, beginning level. Right. This wasn't something that somebody in Hollywood <laughs> right. said, yo, you need to wear this. So, you know, right. we'll, we'll hook mm-hmm. you up over here. Mm-hmm. No, nah, that was that was already something mm-hmm. that was going on. But I'm and talking that's something about respectfully the respectfully he said his own people, like uh, black people. When he came out as Medea, he said the audience ate that shit up. So I kept doing it to sell tickets. So all the time, that's why Which I said, I don't know. Digging. If I'm not in a person position, I really bro, don't know. Bro, you see Wesley Snipes in a dress, right. yeah. <laughs> that shit It's good. You be like, yo, no. I'm about to say, two one, what's one, going two, on here? Shit out of me. And one of them, whoa. Yeah. And one of them, son. fuck you I up with a one on one. Then we left. Nah, son. Yeah. What's that? My nigga, you see the shoulder blades, the chest muscles, and then the whole the top. Like, nah, bro, that shit is crazy. But if he comes to Right, bro. Right. Fuck you up with a one-on-one. That one. Not, not yeah. definitely. That nigga's a blood. He's a but triple black belt, bro. Or you can say <laughs> after that, like, but you black belt in the dress, so I'm not that scared. Right, no more. right. <laughs> but, 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 like, look, that's why I always say I'm always understanding the both parties because you can say that and he'll come to him, beat your ass, and all you have to say at the end of the day was like, but you still wear a dress. But he can still say, nigga, I got way more money than you. I have this for my family. I have that. That don't mean nothing. That's it does. It don't mean you. It doesn't mean something to you. To some. To one. him, he solidified his family for generations. Who, right. Okay. He has money set up for his children, his children's children. He has land. So to you, it's just like you are dressed. But to him, he's like, I don't give a fuck. But I have he, things I could give my family. did he sell family. out to do that? Like, I'm about to say that. That's how yes. So 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 but that's a morality. Look, look, look. You know what it's a morality for us. Part. But that's why I'm saying the discussion, a lot of times I didn't even have this discussion because it doesn't matter to me. All right, Kai, Kai, you're you a female rapper. you female rapper. What we saying right now don't matter to these niggas. They're going to watch us around. So, so wait, wait, wait. At all. So hold on. At all. Down to rappers, they don't give a fuck. Like, okay, Kai, you're still trying to make it. And I've got, ah, ah, ah. And I can't say nothing to that. Kai. I can say, is you right? Because I want that. I'm not even going to say here a lie. I want that for That's my family. I said, like, you got to be honest. I want you got to be honest. For my family. Right. I want to be so, able to give my family when I die honest. the masses to my music, mm-hmm. to keep selling my merch. I don't want the labels to control that. But it, I did it. imagine I pass away at the end of the day cause, or because I didn't want to put on a dress as a man. But you just be honest about it. And then my family my just family. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to No, 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 no. We're not going with that. We're not going with that. I'm just saying that for me, for them. We're not going with that. I don't even like having this conversation because it doesn't matter to them. Because we don't know nobody that turned down a dress and all of a sudden they just didn't have a fucking career. I, I do. Nobody I do. And I'm not going to name them. I know a lot of people that are still stuck in the hood because they don't want to do certain things in the music industry or the entertainment. I so, do know that. So you go into more office. More than I don't. So I know you go I'm into more... an office and somebody's like, yo, I'll give you this deal, but... Um, you got to suck my dick. That's yeah. not me, though. That's why I'm still that an independent happens. artist. So, so you wouldn't be like... But I'm not going to come on here in your podcast man. and say, I'm okay with struggling. Like, well, I'm not okay with that. Now I'm still in the hood. Right. I'm not okay with that. <laughs> but, you, not okay with that. but this is what I'm saying. Like, I'm not okay with that. If, no. if someone, someone that looks at that the same way that you look at that, Yes. And they compromise their morality. Mm-hmm. Then the, where does it stop? It and don't you, stop. Everyone, and that's to get to the point, to each their own. That's what I told Mecca earlier. That's my favorite line. To each their own. That's their morality. That might not be mine or theirs. Right. Their morality might not. Like I said earlier, bro, I'm an entertainer. I've been towards as a kid. I might got to throw in this outfit, this outfit to do what I got to do and go home. I'm still going to be a man and pay the bills at the end of the day. I'm still going to buy my mother this house. I'm still going to buy this land for my family. I just found oil in Ghana. I'm still about to do that. You know what I'm saying? Not at oh, any cost. Not at any I know, cost. I know a hundred niggas in the hood. 
I'm not doing that. Yo, bro, you can fuck me uh, 10 pounds real quick so I can suck. And then <laughs> I know about three niggas I can name and be like, I don't give a fuck about no dress. I don't define me. Niggas can't beat me at the end of the day. And I'm putting on <laughs> for my family. So it, everybody's morality is to each their own. No, you, it, I don't judge nobody. It's bigger. It's to bigger. To each their yeah. own. It's bigger than it's, to each their own. That's a it's, scapegoat. It's, wait, that's, that's, that's wait, 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 wait. No, escape. it's bigger than to Bro. each their own. Yeah, it it's has bigger to be. than. Imagine if we have not. Wait, Kaya, wait, because I'm not disagreeing with you. I think your philosophy holds, but I think it's bigger than to each their own. I think it's more along the lines of. Two things can be true at the same time. Absolutely. Not necessarily to each their own, but two things can be true at the same time. In other words, as an actor, I can be so dedicated to my craft that if this is what the role calls for, then I'm here for it because mm -hmm. this is what I do. This is what right. I've been trained to do, and I shake that shit off. It means nothing. I put the role on, I take it off, it's nothing. Does that mean that there's not an agenda on some on the other side of somebody who benefits from that person doing that and spreads that message further because it's a movie, because it's a television show, and makes this thing more popular, and now all of a sudden morality starts to do this? Yeah. That can also be true at the yeah. same time. So I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not saying like right. and again, it is a very individual, mm -hmm. subjective thing. My morality is mine. Where you draw your line is different. What I'm cool with, you might not be cool with, et cetera, et cetera. Right. But you know, I'm back out of back tattoo. I feel like that's a but dangerous. Yo, you you're stupid. Said, yeah. Boy. <laughs> so does 50 Cent. Don't pause that shit. There's <laughs> different levels. Your man got a back tattoo. Your boy got a back tattoo. Take it light. <laughs> ain't no entertainment on my back. Remove from behind me. Ain't, ain't nothing going on back there. Why is a nigga behind you? Remove from behind I'm me, just nigga. Saying, you that's got a back tattoo. That's why I appreciate Spider, because that's a paradigm I learned from other people before y'all. Y'all was taught that from other people before y'all. From other people before them. From other, that someone being behind your back is gay for what? A tattoo on your back is gay for what? How does that make you gay? Oh, if you've never done anything boomer. in your life, that's things DMX you were taught. have a dog boomer, right? On the, and that's on what I was back. about to get into. Right. If us I as black people are ignoring these things, I don't think we'll ever be a thing. I just my, enjoy back tattoos. From my from opinion, this ain't a black people thing. It's it a math half of thing. No, I'm not talking about the back. I'm not talking about the back. I'm talking about overall. From what I see, the black community makes it a thing. And I feel like if we ignore it, it would never be a thing. That's certain like certain ratchet shows that come on TV. I don't see nothing but black people keep sharing it, sharing it. I hate this. Why do we do this? Why why you keep sharing it? So as long as we stop, it's never gonna be a thing. You know why they share white something people, you like white people like she mentioned Never made it a thing when Robin Williams and them did it. They just looked at it as, all right, whatever. No, but they got, they got their own set of things and they also don't they have don't historical. They don't look exactly right. They don't have their historical. They don't have their yeah. So have what's history yeah. though? Because that's why I went back to the Egyptians. Them niggas wore skirts and shit. Yeah, what's what's like? Like you said, that's out of context. It is. That's out of context. That's out of context. And it's hot as fuck. As a matter of fact, I forgot Morgan Freeman did with that. It's hot as hell in Egypt. You need ventilation. You can't just be walking around. We're not doing that. You can't make it a The Superman. It's day long, bro. You gotta you let make it a thing. That's how I feel. I whatever you make a thing. Shit. We gotta be whatever careful with thing. this morality shit when it yeah. comes to individualizing morality. Good is good and bad yes. is bad. bad. We have to support right? each other. No, that too. Like, don't give me. Uh, we have to support, support each everything. other. No, no, no. No, yeah, please, not don't. that. Everybody. If, if she's a male actor and she says, I didn't want to wear a skirt, yo. I want to do my own movie and you have to support me and we don't support her, then we cannot keep being mad at Hollywood putting niggas in skirts because we did not support her, bro. Or him, if he was a man, like I said. And that's what we do. We don't. Down to Instagram. How many artists we respect and idolize we just seen like, yo, Instagram be shadow banning my shit. Mm -hmm. Come to this platform and we don't fucking do it. We yeah. still set our black asses on Instagram every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Happy birthday, Jay-Z. Yeah. I love you, Beyonce. Uh -uh. And when it's a man's, we don't do it. Nah, like, stop. When we try to change it, there's no support in the black community. So when mm -hmm. the black community is in an uproar on, on social media, I ignore it because you're just in an uproar on social media. You're not going out to do a change. That goes back to what we talked about during the break with that man in court. Who, who else is going to get up in the morning like, yo, let's find his name. Let's look up his name. Let's help him. Let's see what we can do. We're not doing that. So we have to stop going to Instagram and social media complaining. That's a lot of Go and be the change you want to fucking see. But for as long as celebrities in Hollywood feel like they have to do it, that's what they're going to do to pay their fucking bills. And I'm not knocking it because I'm an independent artist and it's very fucking hard. A lot of people is not going to sacrifice and struggle and do what I do. A lot of people is not going to sleep on their mother's couch, their aunt's couch, get a blow back, run the room. They're not going to do that. They're not. They want to be that nigga. I want an apartment, a Benz, 
No, I got to ask for rides, Ubers. A lot of people was not doing that because y'all not. If I hit everybody up, they're like, all right, Kai, I got you. Not saying y'all specifically, pardon right. me, but people in general. I could make a chassis receipts where I've been posting it for years. Yo, I, I've been shadow banning me. Go, uh, I'll have a thousand and four fucking likes and 30 comments. I just ask y'all to make one comment, even if it's an emoji, you know what I'm saying? Right. So as an, from an entertainer's point of view, that's all I'm saying, I understand it, because it's how I'm going to pay my bills. I don't want a nine to five, bro. This is what I love to do. So until I get my foot in the door and I can get all my news, like, all right, mm. I put in the dress for us. Can we put our money together and do our own shit now? I feel like that's what a lot of actors did back then. Right. Now it's OD. I agree with y'all completely. It's yeah, totally OD. It's they find right. niggas younger and younger who don't know. But the niggas that's up there that we just named, they're not really doing that no more if you look at what they're doing. But they're not is, doing that no more. This is where the Epsteins and not the Weinsteins no have the advantage over people. And that's what's going on. And yeah. that keep being blocked out. Right. That Epstein list and shit is going on, but so much shit in the black community keep being spread, unfortunately, even as Jewish. Cat Williams, under, yeah, like the that. Cat Williams, the Jewish but that goes underground tunnel. Indiv- individualizing morality. Like, yeah. we, we can't get to the point where everybody decides what's right and what's right, or mm-hmm. what's wrong and what's wrong. Like, nah. We we know what's wrong. You know right. what I'm saying? We right. know what's right. Now, don't get me wrong. There's circumstances that would allow a person to not interpret things a certain type of way. But as a society, we know what's good, what's bad. Mm-hmm. It's, I feel like it's an instinct in us. It's something that we're born with and that we also learn. So although I agree with you as far as what's right for me is right for me. It don't got necessarily got to be right for me, right for you. We got to understand how our decisions, how it contributes to the whole, the humanity mm. as a yes. whole, right? Right. Right. Like for me, if every individual goes about, well, what I think is right is what I think is right. It don't got to be what you think is right. What structure does it create for society? You know what I'm saying? What structure does right. it create for Part the younger I'm, generation? I'm, I'm, I, mean, I feel like that know, goes, we don't be, at this point. we don't be honest enough with our fan base. Like mm-hmm. this year, um, pardon me, the wrap up, the Spotify thing, mm-hmm. it was the artist. I forgot who posted it. He said, y'all keep posting y'all yeah, and it's a uh, wrap up, but you are not posting the money that we get from it. And since then, I never posted my wrap up because he's yeah, right. Don't get nothing. I'm not about to post how many streams I got, and I got fucking five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Because you know why? You know why? Because we know our fan base when they see five hundred million streams, they think, "Oh, we doing something," but not realizing that five hundred streams is five hundred dollars. I mean, that, that's, oh, a whole, that's, that's a whole. We not got actors, but we love doing the same yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's a whole yeah. nother. But that's why I said I don't. For like entertainers, period. Don't be honest with they feel. Uh, like, uh, no, musicians, y'all might want y'all, y'all might want, y'all y'all might want to look into coding. Yes, that might get you just a, a little I'm, bit more. I'm mad money. we never took up coding for MySpace days. No, no I had coding. We used to freak out MySpace days. That was up. that was one. No, of the, I mean the coding, stuff. coding for your music. Up when I own coding, coding for your music, so you can actually keep an accurate record of. The plays, mm. the streams, mm. oh, so and you collect what you the right see money. On these platforms, it's not accurate. It may not be accurate because you okay. you might not be you might not be eligible to collect from other countries that might be playing the shit. Right. Okay. Somebody else might be collecting that. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? Okay. I've sat you. we sat here how many times and we heard uh-huh. about artists. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, uh, we, we don't get no streaming money. We don't this da, da, da. Oh, we found out somebody mm-hmm. was was claiming our our publishing and our That's royalties wow. for overseas. We had plays a whole attorney in here. But how walked, did that happen? How because about it, how did that happen? Because we don't know better. Watch the game Grease interview. Everybody Dame Grease. Go watch the Dame Grease interview. We don't know better as artists. Right. Go watch the don't know. But you never know what you don't know. Go watch the Dame Grease Grease interview, his attorney know. gave all the information on how it happens and also how to get past it. Right. It's right there for you. Now here comes the part where you have to be uncomfortable and do the unsexy job. This is the part where you got to go learn something and look it up because yep. you can't just take <laughs> it from somebody's... You got to go look it up and learn. Yeah. Yourself. Yeah. Welcome to the unsexy Yourself. part of the business yes. where nobody is obligated to give you Teach any you information, information and anything that you get. Yeah. It's your job to go further in and get more of the information or... You can stay ignorant, mm-hmm. keep dealing from a place Boy. of lack, mm-hmm. keep dealing from a place of desperation. And please emphasize and on looking up yourself. You get over. Matt, can you please emphasize on looking up Sorry. yourself? Because I know some people are going to watch this and they're going to tell their man, like, yo, go look up with <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> yeah. Those and people. I done had a couple niggas that told me like, yo, you heard about this? I'm like, and that person you gonna tell me about tell you what like, they want to tell you. Those people are doomed. doomed. Look it up yourself. Those dudes yeah. are doomed. If I told you, if I told you where the information was, 
and you still wanted me to go look it up, you are doomed. Man. I hate when niggas because like, even if you make it, it past, it. even if you make it past step one, Google it. Step yeah, one, me being an honest person, even if I'm honest enough to tell you, here's exactly how it happened, here's exactly what you need to do, blah 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 blah. Even if I'm honest, mm -hmm. the dude right after me, the businessman, the executive, the accountant, the right after me may lie. not be yeah. right. They, right. And and yeah. it's another step. You don't get to keep playing, doing the same dance move mm -hmm. as the music keeps right. changing. You right. keep elevating up and thinking you can make the same Listen. play mm -hmm. over yep. and over. Yep. That's not how it works. You know how how many hours I spent sitting in front of a computer trying to figure out YouTube. You you, you what? Oh, sexy job. Yeah. My God, my yeah. first TikTok I edited. I said, oh shit, these niggas are spending hours editing a TikTok video for thirteen cents. I can job. never. Yeah. Yeah. I can never. You we don't. We don't. We, don't, yeah. we yeah. artists oh. don't post that part. They don't. You don't I post do. the part where you, where you, you don't you don't go live for hours and you standing there staring at a screen clicking. Mm -hmm. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that word mean? Hold what up. the fuck? Right. Yep. Look that up. Yep. Perpetuity. Ah, damn. Yeah. You're stuck. <laughs> Nobody goes live. You're stuck forever. Real bad. Yeah. That means yeah. you're stuck forever. Throughout yep. the throughout the history of the universe. Wait, what? They got yes. publishing out there? Yes. Apparently they do. Yeah, yeah. but that's the information that's gonna help us not yes. you know what I'm saying? repeat Success history. Success doesn't yeah. come to the comfortable. A lot of Stop people thinking don't you're gonna be bro, comfortable. People that don't wanna sexy read. Job is the people job. don't wanna read. Right. People don't want to read. I just blacked the girl like two weeks ago. She's like, what she want for Christmas? I said, you Christmas book. I said, I got a couple books about Christmas. And she said, book with the emoji. What? I said, block. Yeah. Leave her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bitch. Bye. I need books yeah. to dispense them. Some of them books I want cost $100. Some of them shit. $89.99. They got pills sneakers. Like, yeah. Invest in mean, your career. Hello? I can't read. Hello? Yeah, so you surprised how many of your friends can't read. Stop, stop, I should have said that. You can't stop, read. Stop. <laughs> I'm just Cause, saying. Because we know plenty of artists that got pretty far. <laughs> Before we See, found out far? that this they is, couldn't read, money I'm is just not far. I, I they figured say, something out. That's not far to me. Having the money is not far. Is now, like that before you, you probably attributed to dyslexia, you know what I'm saying, certain things like that. Nowadays, niggas is just plain dumb. Mm -hmm. Plain just not learning well, right back to school. the beginning yes. of this interview. Plain just Happen not worried about, they're ignorant. dumb. These niggas been around. Y'all just getting to know them. <laughs> I've known these niggas all, my whole life. I've, been to I've known those type of niggas nah, my whole life. I went to school with niggas who just did not care to learn. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yep. And even those niggas, just by being in class, learned something. They mm -hmm. didn't have, they wasn't, these niggas is dumb. Dumb. They don't know. They no, can't tell Matt, you the time. Right. They have been they around for read. a long time. The problem is, now they're on Instagram. Yes, and you can all so we're see just seeing, yeah. Oh, y'all just getting to meet them. They, yeah. yeah. No, oh, they're not advertising been now. But, but, these niggas are like advertising. Like these niggas got grandkids now. These got grandkids now. Why you don't know how to read? And also, when you're growing up, you give your friends the benefit of the doubt. You don't judge your friends in junior high school. I didn't really judge my friends now. I just thought, you know, oh, that's project shit. But as an adult, not knowing how to read. I didn't. We judged I didn't. Them. Not knowing how because to read. Because I always felt like I went to a I'm better school than everybody. Time. So I never No, 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 no. no. Listen, did, listen to what I'm saying. Okay. Not knowing how, 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 not knowing how to read could be as simple as having a frustrated parent in the house who's doing it by themselves. And the way that they address you when you're doing homework yep. is traumatizing you. Absolutely. Now you can't I don't need it firsthand. I already you know. Yep. But at 30 something yep. years old, when you <laughs> realize. You should have got it. Exactly. You should have got it. You better go sign up for no class. You better go to YouTube I University. Again. There's no way. Again. There's no way. Again. There's no way. Again. Again. There are, certain, right, there are certain people who get to a certain point and they're like, yo, I yeah, would be so give embarrassed. Yeah, they give up. To go Nobody even got to try to figure Again, it out. That's we're, not we're an right excuse. Back. It ain't right no, now, there's no way. The age, no. Somebody's going to know. Age, yeah, you got to no. understand. Somebody's going to know. He could be a stranger and I'm still embarrassed coming to him. Yeah. But I might feel like he's going to tell Mac. They're gonna tell Chastity. Right. She's gonna tell him. Oh, Kylie can't read. There's Word, motherfuckers. We you know what I'm saying? So era. that's just how people we are, think. We are the first ever that way. you don't need nobody to teach you nothing. That's this true. is the only ever where you don't need nobody YouTube to teach has you. A as, far as, as far as like I go to my meditation time, like somebody, on YouTube, You can yoga, go to YouTube University. Everything. I call it YouTube University and learn mostly anything that How you How you going to gonna type it in if you can't read? <laughs> what do you mean? Reading <laughs> and typing is two different you, things. You have to remember. I know a lot of niggas can't read. Voice, 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 voice memo. Voice memo. I just the video. Voice memo. That's telling you what you need to. They know what I'm saying. Because respectfully, if you have an iPhone, you can yeah. press the microphone thing and says, 
tutorials to help me read. First of all, it's you gotta so know. We gotta know what tutorial means. Nah, man. To trust nah, the, the microphone. Nigga know the fuck a microphone. You, 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 you ain't that dumb to know what a microphone looks like. And don't know if what I can't read, how the fuck I'm navigating the cell phone. You're not that stupid to not know what a microphone looks like. See, and now you calling them stupid. Now the nigga ain't never gonna learn. You don't even care enough to learn. Because the way when you play poker, they call it a spade. You at work seeing everybody talking about what's on the news. You don't know what the fuck is going on, and at, at any point you know because you can hear. But I need to learn how to read. You're yeah, misinformed. I need to learn how to. You know Speaking of, ignorance. I want to be involved in the conversation. I want to know what I'm signing. Right. I want to know what I'm agreeing to. As, a, as an adult, it, it shouldn't take nobody else to make you want to be a competent adult. Mm -hmm. I don't care sex, age, color, anything. Nothing should make you want to be a competent adult. Incompetent, you mean? No, you mean, no. wanting to be, be incompetent. To be competent if you're incompetent, like it shouldn't take your mom. It shouldn't take nobody embarrassing you. It should take life. Yo, did you hindering you Fact. from? Yeah, now nah, I need to learn Some how people to do this. With us. Some people was comfortable. But, but it depends on when that happens. I feel like it happens. R. Kelly, every I know a lot R. of people. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, no. In their situation, how many millions do you think R. Kelly had when we found out that he couldn't read? You right. I don't want to go there. There's no remix to it. Right, speaking, <laughs> speaking of ignorance, um, how do y'all feel about the drama that goes on in, in hip hop when it comes to females? I don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I personally don't deal with drama really with my mom. I'm about to say, so I you never dissed a female rapper, right? I, 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 I never I, had I a female rapper come at me and I never went. But I do I do see, and that's just me personally, just how I am, but I do recognize what's hap what happens in female it. rap. Yeah, you absolutely. know what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely yeah. a um, a point of emphasis um, to make us compete against each other mm -hmm. in, in a certain type of way that is not done for the men. Um, so the drama, the drama, because you got to think about it. When it comes to men and battle and rap, I'm we only speaking it'd be like turn. street shit. Oh, it'd be man. like, yeah. some, uh, sometimes it'd be like real, not all the time. Sometimes, like the beef that has lasted through the ages and that we were rare, it's real, sh it's real shit behind it. Right. Mm -hmm. There's been no female beef with it, that I can remember, that I know of, that there was real life threatening situations. What? And, Lil' uh, Kim and Foxy. Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown? Okay, I'm, okay, okay, I'm shooting outside of that. Outside of that. Outside of that. I was, I'm People get ran down on, stripped naked. But, but you gotta think about, about it. Who did that? that dumb or niggas? At that point, was that stopping people? Who started that? Dumb or niggas? Oh, stop, stop. Niggas. Don't even start that. Um, they don't even start they that. answered it already. <laughs> niggas started that. It's never females. We don't and go through shit that, that y'all go through to be having That's the type the of that they be having. So a lot of the times it's like, what are you, what are you fighting over? Territory? Over who you ask? Terri what territory? Like fictional territory? Men or women. Yeah. When you men, I, I promise you, there's so much money in this world to go around. Nobody could be broke. When you realize that concept that mm -hmm. there's enough money in the world where nobody should go homeless, yep. broke, da da da, you realize it's enough people in this world where you can be the biggest star over there. I could be the biggest star over here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to. I mean, could be the biggest one stars person. together. Are y'all fans of Nikki and Cardi? Yes. I, I'm a fan more so of Cardi. Now, the reason why I'm not a, 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 a huge it's not even about where I'm from. It's just I, I follow Nikki's career the whole time. Um, and I just feel <clears> like <throat> she could have done more for female rap. Being in the position that she was for as long as she was, she could have done way more for female rap. I understand how it helped her get to where she was by staying the ground that she did, but that 10, 12 year gap, it, it was egregious. And as a female rapper, seeing how like, wait a minute, we know there's a lot of female rappers. Mm -hmm. We know that this bitches is nice. Why is nobody else getting a chance? Why is nobody else getting a look? As a female rapper, I take pride in bringing other bitches up. Mm -hmm. I take pride in getting an upcoming female rapper on my song. I take pride in that because if you're nice, I love you automatically. <laughs> I don't even gotta know who you are. If you're a female and you rap, I love and you're nice, I love you. You know what I'm saying? So seeing how she had the power, the influence, and everything to really propel female rap, she decided to dominate it. And I don't like that. 
Remy came home, first thing she did when on her Summer Jam tour, she had every female rapper on the stage with her. Chrome 23. Before mm -hmm. Chrome 23. This is when Remy yeah. first came home. Right. She had a, a, a set on Summer Jam. She yeah. had everybody on that stage. Every up and coming female rapper was on that stage with Remy. You know how many times nigga had the opportunity to do that? It's hmm. like, and don't get me wrong, Why Remy is one of the Remy? nicest females that ever graced the mic. But if I can't lie, I can't. Say I never felt the way as a female rapper, seeing how she dominated and not bring nobody else up under her or carry the female mantle. Before it was Kim, Evie, it was it was a bunch of females. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You get into the game where it's just you, and you have females reaching out. You know what I'm saying? You have females reaching out. Wow. You see females doing their thing, and at any point you decide, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm the queen. Let me just, you know what I'm saying? Let me let me make a princess. You doing it now because you have to. Why you say she has to? Because she knows she's. It's not just her anymore. She, I feel like Nikki realized that she had to change certain things. We can't speculate that. I don't care about speculation. I care about what I know and what I see. Right. You know what I'm saying? I saw her act a certain type of way. I saw a change when Remy came home. So you're, you know what I'm saying? I, I, saw, I saw a change when Remy came home. That wasn't a coincidence. That was strategic. It was a reason why she changed her hair from pink to black. It was a reason why she stopped doing the Barbie shit and started to do the street shit more. Mm -hmm. It's a reason for that. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. if the reason is not about propelling female rap and only about you dominating, I have a problem with that. Especially when I've come across legends in this game who want to propel us, who want to help us. Mm. How do you feel? Me knowing politics in the business, um, I can understand where she's coming from, but certain contracts is very, certain contracts is certain contracts. So certain contract dictate down to even what you post on social media. Mm -hmm. um, I done ran into a nigga, some people with shatty patties. He showed me how many artists Instagram he had that he ran. You know what I'm saying? Um, to this day now, sometimes my best friend, my manager, they help me check my messages and stuff because it's just too much. Mm. So I don't know what type of position Nikki was ever in to even help if she wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Right. like. I don't know what type of shape Birdman and, um, uh, and her, whoever's above Birdman and them um, has. Um, me being from Queens, she has, you know, come back to the Queens and done things for Queens. So um, I can't speak in that aspect. She absolutely has come back to the hood and does what she could from my observation. Um, I do agree there's a lot of females, not just Nikki. It's, this is not Nikki. It's a lot of females that come on the internet and speak women empowerment. And don't do shit, so. <laughs> and then when you reach out to them, the woman in power is, what's your budget? <laughs> <laughs> so you know I'm an independent artist. You know I don't have a fucking budget, mm -hmm. nigga. You know I got to get a couple features and probably a couple shows before mm -hmm. I can reach that 10K. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, I got real life bills to pay, to same pay. way you do. Yep. I didn't get an advance from no label. I'm still doing what you was doing before I, I grabbed you up and gave you this advance. I'm, I'm, we not that. Mm -hmm. So in this day and age, 2024, I can honestly say maybe for the past 10 years, I haven't seen a female artist that's worked to get to where they have to like me or her mm -hmm. or like a Nikki. Like there's a lot of females just grabbed Out of up. nowhere. Out of they nowhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all just put money behind shorty. Let's Out go. Of nowhere. So they don't know even the business. They, didn't, they don't even know what's going on. Yeah. Behind. I'm not even talking about Nikki no more. I'm talking about the past females that can yes. help other females. They don't even know what's going on. They just think, I'm lit. No, the bag behind you is lit. You know what I'm saying? Because once that bag stop, is you really lit? Yeah. And I was having this conversation with my mans recently. That's why I appreciated the 50 years of hip hop. It don't take a lot of legends to sell out an arena. It don't. Nope. It takes the almost race. 50 fucking new artists to sell, sell out, out the Barclays, yeah. the Garden. You see that clip of the Wu-Tang? 50 artists. I'm not exaggerating. Yeah. It takes almost 50 fucking new artists to sell out certain arenas. Now, certain people like Kodak shit, yeah, they lit in their hometown. When you come to New York, though, you need. That's why I was appreciative. That I had experience of going to Made in America. Mm -hmm. I was able to go to uh, uh, Rolling Loud. Mm -hmm. I got to experience like, oh, these thousands of people here because it's over a hundred artists on this fucking bill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, not, mm -hmm. they not just coming for Nas. Mm -hmm. 
Jay-Z, Beyonce, Nicki Minaj, J. Cole. Like, they're not just coming in for that. It takes right. a lot. Um, <laughs> so I used to feel that way. Like, <clears throat> female artists could do more for other female artists. But once I see people's paperwork and... I don't know. I just mind my business. Like, <laughs> <laughs> would you be one of those own, artists? That's my shit. Would you be one of those artists that would be confined? To I think like, me being independent to this day answers that question. Exactly. <laughs> no, I'm not that. Artist. So you know that, and that's my so, point. This you have an option. Yeah, always an option. Like always yeah, an option. you can yes. you can sign it, but you had the option to not sign it, or mm-hmm. you had the option to change the negotiations. And that's why I fucked with Connie same. Diamond. Shout out to Connie Diamond because that, that's Connie. been my bitch. I love you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying over five years. Yes, me and yes. Harden started together. We done did who's next together. We mm-hmm. did me and Kanye did a lot of I shit. I got a track with together. Kanye so when that. she did her shit, she didn't have to pick me. Mm-hmm. I, I'm the only independent artist on her shit. Mm-hmm. And she didn't have to. She gave me a billboard and everything mm-hmm. in Times Square. Wow. So like people like her, I respect because like you said, you can negotiate it. We come but from some that people. Era. And also, I'm a very honest thing. So some people come from nothing at all. So if you're giving me ten million dollars. And you want that? Have it, nigga. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about females, nails, my mom, my cat, my dog. Take it, give me. You know what I'm saying? Those, Man, those, people are like, the, one, those <laughs> the ones we don't champion, though. You <laughs> feel me? Like, uh, respectfully, if you want to be, I, I just feel like as a black person, if you want to be selfish, go over there. Yes. It. And just be honest with it. You right. know what I'm saying? I don't got no problem with it. Be honest and just go over there. The niggas that want to help and want to help propel, let us do what we got to do. Do not pretend that you over here trying to help mm-hmm. when you're all about self. Yo, There's nothing wrong with that because Williams hard. just said that. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. That Stop lying. We in are in an age shit. where yeah. you don't have to lie to nobody. You want to fuck a hundred bitches? There's a bitch out there that's going to allow you to fuck a hundred bitches. Why are you lying to the shorty that only wants you for her? You know what I'm right. saying? Right. We are in an age where there's a person for everybody. There's a situation for everything. Yeah. Why are we lying? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why are we lying? Yeah. 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 And I always say I can't. I always genuinely tell a person, like, I can't even do that for you. And I will be honest with you. Not I'm not doing it. And yeah. if I tell them, I'm like, I'm yeah, I did it for me. I'm sorry I was selfish in this moment, but yeah. I, got some, I got something to deal with. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't got to answer to nobody. I'm grown. Right. Nobody's putting me on punishment. Nobody putting the belt in my ass. That's why I salute people like I'm be honest. Juice bro, God, rest, God rest his soul. Uh, Meek even started speaking out like yeah. I guess the labels. That's a big step. That's a big. That's a hard thing to do. Yeah. To be like yo, all these years I'm not going. That's why I'm, I can't knock Nikki. I don't know what she's been through, mm-hmm. but it's like. Certain artists get to a point. It's like I, right, I got my families now, and I hope they back yeah. me. Yeah, speak the truth. Yeah, and this what I've been going through for years for y'all, nigga. Yeah. I, I didn't even know myself. Yeah. I had to yeah. get another. Like he said, we got to teach ourselves. I had to get another lawyer for my lawyer to learn that my lawyer That's was, a fact. was lying to me, and, nigga. And, and so now I'm telling y'all, don't do it. Thing. And it's still gonna be a hundred niggas that's gonna do it. Do and it. Two, that's, that's a not. fact. And to well, your point, so, you know, Nikki could have been pigeonholed in a lot of ways. Right. That. Especially in her I had somebody, I'm not even gonna say his name. Rapper. I had somebody in, in, in Nikki's old camp mm-hmm. told me, I seen him, this was years ago, I will never forget this, was CIAA weekend, North Carolina and Charlotte. Like, okay, I, I. He said, You probably gotta come out the top female to get lit. You probably gotta come at Nikki. I looked at him like he had 10 heads. Now that was true. I said, I respect point. that woman. I'm from yeah. Queens. Why the fuck would I come at Nikki, nigga? And you used to. Okay. That was that was the And that's sick, but that's what passage. goes to the question I asked her earlier. Right. It's men doing that. that put the women together. As a matter of fact, when I start, first started, shout out to um what's her name? Uh Miami. Mm-hmm. Miss Miami, that's mm-hmm. her name? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Flip, shout out to Flip. That's my brother. That's when I first mm-hmm. started. I didn't give a fuck yeah. about rapping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He they used to come back and tell me, Yo, you used to call, you should go out Miami. She said you can't rap. Uh uh. They used to mm-hmm. Or oh, so battle rap shit or just like rap shit? Regular rap shit. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't even know how constructed a song and nothing. Okay. I did a freestyle. Okay. I came back. She did one. They was coming coming to me to do another one. At this point, like I was very smarter than a lot of my peers. So I asked them. I said, "Time out. Why the fuck is y'all even hanging out with this girl? If y'all supposed to be my brothers? Mm-hmm. Why is this conversation happening? Why y'all her house? Mm-hmm. What are y'all talking about? Mm-hmm. That I'm even coming up for me for y'all to want me to make a diss record about her? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I mean, we don't know each other mm-hmm. at all from a hole in the wall. Mm-hmm. Right. What it gators. is is y'all going over there. Instigators, oh yeah, my yo, bitch can Kaya rap. just started that, that, rapping. Yeah. She's nice. You should come mm-hmm. out, yo, yo, such and such and nice. Mm-hmm. And shout out to Miami. I love her. When I finally met her in person, it was nothing but love. Yeah. And that's what I say is, it's really never the females. Times. It's, it's never always us. the men. Ten times out of ten, ain't no nine times. I never met a female rapper that I'm dead ass. I never met a female rapper that yo. I just don't like that bitch. Yeah, it's I always, 
It's yo, a this, natural because instinct such for us such to such love you. Like, if you're nice, we yeah, love that's you a off rip. So, that's how I got cool with Miss Hustle. Yeah, when it's... Lola, yeah. Connie, Billy yeah. Dee back then. Yeah. Because I don't believe none of that nah, shit. Nah, don't. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's not all You got yeah. 10 female artists, they're going to tell you, like, nah, this nigga talking about such and such was nice. and I real rights. Look, I be around a lot of females. Rappers? Female rappers, not battle rappers. Okay. And and yes, they're famous for saying, I just don't like that bitch. No. Oh, but I nigga. can imagine I that happening I'm with rappers. Say, like, I'll, pro- I'll, I'll promise you, if you really ask her as, oh, but nigga, it's not at the end of the day, shit. I guarantee you. It's not I guarantee no you. It's never over. It's I guarantee ne- you. It's with females. We don't, it's I never over it's no two. Nine times shit. out of ten, them beefs be bullshit. It's somebody else's beef. There, there's, there's competition in this competition without malice. Y'all are dealing <laughs> with competition. Mm-hmm. What fuels competition is different things for different people. Right. Yeah, the fact that... Your shit doesn't stem in street shit means you can keep it a little bit more artistic. But women beef in general different than how men beef. Yes. Right. With men, yeah, when, I like when, that. Not y'all per se. No, but, people, but when men, when men, when female beef is entertaining. When, when men nah, beef is like, damn, I hope they don't kill each other. Yeah, I gotta stop. All the way across uh-uh. the board because yeah. when men beef, there's always a threat of physical violence. Right. Right. Physical violence is always a fact. It's always on the right. table. We can be two peaceful dudes, but sitting at, across at, from at each some other. Point, bitches clap, bitches now. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's going to say, I'll fuck you up. Bitches clap, bitches now. But where it hand. stems from, I feel like it's just a rich thing. That's I, the difference. I agree with you. But my point is, very rarely, very rarely, you said it, it does, it's not over anything. Mm-hmm. It's not Never. serious. Right. Nothing serious. I think that across the board about every okay. beef I've ever seen yes. from most of these people, when you when you dial it back to where it started and okay. you look at the cause of it, nothing. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> nothing. Even with the minutes, this, something. I'm talking with about the dudes. Would be I'm, nothing. No, I'm talking It'd about be dudes. Nothing. It's never one of the four unforgivables in my book. It's okay. never one of the four unforgivables. It's right. always just some. You said this. I didn't like that. I was having a fuck. You know, nobody ever says my bad. Like it's never yeah. anything that can't be forgiven, and we can't just move on. Even if moving on means I don't fuck with you, you don't fuck with me. Right. right. You stay over there, I'm stay over here. Nothing yeah. serious. Yeah. But it goes yeah. back to what you just said. Yeah. It's because you said this. Well, females, we never said nothing. <laughs> and yeah. just be a man yeah. telling another one like, "Yo, that bitch, ah, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. come on, man." It be, it be fabricated. And I'm not gonna lie. A lot of times, us as females would be a little dumb and delusional. That's we don't know what the fuck going on. That's the rap, Because we are naturally catty. Right. And based off history, you know we saying? think like, all right, that's yeah. what we gotta do to get lit. I ain't gonna come with this bitch next. Yeah. But like she said, a man don't never get another man honest about yo. Boy at the block fire, made the dicks record about him. No, it's never that. Because it's that always like, yo, that, that, won't that bitch over there thinks she can rap better. And that yep. even goes back to yep. ball. Yep. When I play ball, yep. niggas are like, you think you nice? I got a bitch yep. for you. Yep. Now, what about your niggas? Yep. I'll bust your niggas ass too. Why you got to get a bitch for me? What about your niggas? <laughs> Bring them niggas on. <laughs> Bring them niggas on. Let's get it. And that goes for music. Bring them niggas pin game on. What y'all talking about? Like, let's get this, it on. Um, young and May. My male manager made me this and May. Why? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Why? Because she he thought know. it would work. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't yes. my idea. Because yes. he you know thought saying? it would work. It was my male manager. You know what? She Shout out to Emmy. Right but what, but what made you do it, though? Um, Don't know better than She me. thought it might work. Hold on. I want to hear how I ain't going to lie. I thought I was better than her. You know what I'm saying? I, well, I am better than her. Um, <laughs> that and, no, and that's not no diss to Emmy. I just think I'm better yeah, than everybody. Every artist should feel like There's no disrespect to her. Every artist should feel that way. She's doing her shit. You know what I'm saying? Um... But at the time, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, I, I'm, I'm just as nice as her. You right, cuz oh, let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me just throw this yeah. one shot at there. And what happened? It go viral. It go viral. He was right. I say one line Sadly. about her, it goes viral. Meanwhile, Sadly. the other videos that I posted. Don't nothing, go viral. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at it's all. just like, also, I got to diss a female in order. Lady LaShaw, you know what I'm saying? London yes, chick, nasty. Yes, fine. She'll rap to her. She'll rap She because she didn't diss me. N- um, Nikki, excuse me. She was offered bread. Yeah, to she was diss fire. Nikki, to go on a whole this this Nikki campaign, and she turned it down. Fine, she was fire. Mm. That's crazy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That we got to go through shit like that. that. Lady, 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 lady Lesha. 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 Yeah, she was fire. Lady Lesha. 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 Lady sure. 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 Fire. She's fire. Right. She's fire. Yeah, no, no, no. I've I, I seen some of her fire. Nice. We hate to see women Tuck. clash, though. I, especially men, we, we hate to like see women clash. Nice. We don't like that. Can you imagine if we grew up in a world where y'all men don't like it? Like but niggas love that shit. Do it like a, 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 niggas a, love that shit. Era of female um, unity. Fe- you know what I'm saying? Nikki, Remy, Cardi, all of them. You know what I'm saying? Like we never. It could be different. 
It would be way different. Be I would, I would, I would love to see all y'all collaborate. We want to see it, nigga. Ah, Yo, shit, that's man. what we want to see. Know, did that shit at the BET Awards and brought up Queen Latifah. I was there at the awards. That's when Snoop did the Gladiator shit. That shit was amazing. Like, because wow, you know, it's rare that you see females coming together in this industry and really put on for each other. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we want to see more of that. We got it. We got to see, see more it. of that. And that's why I said, like, right now, female rap is open. The door is open, mm. especially for New York. I yeah. think so. Too. And I feel like, ladies, if you're in the opportunity, do not forget where you started. You know what I'm saying? It's a fact. It is. It's up to us to create that that, that standard. You, you know, know what I'm saying? It, it don't got to just be one. It, it can be multiple. I said it in... I, and I stop remember, coming on our pages and just, telling us, y'all want to hear us more. Exactly. Go to these fucking DJs and, and the them. parties. and I can't get on a DJ fucking every, every fucking you event I'm at. <laughs> Nigga gonna be like, oh, Kaya coming up. Don't, don't bring Kaya on. <laughs> she gonna tell me to play that shit. Like it's Whole much. time it's our fans like, yo, why they don't do ah, ah. We need the support. Need a and female tone. Um, Jermaine, J- female Jermaine tone. Dupree, a couple yeah. years ago, you know, yes. he um, to the female tone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he did a uh, yeah. Trina is doing one. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. Trina yeah. Again. 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 Shout, shout out, out to Trina, Trina the baddest bitch. Yeah. Trina doing a female, female tone. Yes, Trina yes. Is okay. Not too long ago. Yes. Shout out to Punk Flex. He just had an all female event not too long ago. We're paid to see that. Listen. Yeah. Where that was at? I would love to know. I have hope for y'all. <laughs> nah, I do too. Where the, this is the first you. time the first time I had. It was the first episode of the year. Was it a female sound event? This is because they got y'all like, off right. Let's, so let's call it spade a spade. Was it an all female artist that signed? I'm or? not sure, but either way, because I never heard of it. It's an inspiration to everyone else. But you gotta understand, for certain artists like me, huh? Other people, it's not because people think like I have to be signed to get there. I gotta be signed to do Start this X Y Z. You don't. You still believe that? I do. You Come to DFG. That? No, I don't. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't. So that, it's I'm just saying. It's our job. It's our job. Then. Fuck that. It's our so, job to let them know that's not the case. It's not. You, if, if if I had somebody to show me 10 years ago what I know now as far as underground, vinyls, mm-hmm. merch, facts. Sh- you know what I'm saying? Fuck a deal. I could do it by myself. That's you right. know what I'm yep. saying? And until right. you have somebody that you really believe in or trust in to tell you that, you're not going to think about it. Mm-hmm. So I make sure, especially with the female rappers that come after me, battle rap and all that, I'm letting them know this is what you deserve. I went through that so that you don't have to. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's no way I'm not going to tell you what you need to know and what you need to do to get here so that you're not starting 10 years behind the curve. You know what I'm saying? We got into the point where the struggles that we went through, they should no longer have to. Right. There's still more struggles we got to overcome, Absolutely. but we shouldn't make them go through it because we already figured it out and we have the intelligence and the knowledge to tell them what it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? I respect the fuck. Kaya, baby. Shayna Ashley. Yes. Um, what y'all got coming up? What y'all, what y'all want people to look for? Um, I don't, I don't got nothing specific coming up. I got some music dropping. You know, I got a lot of um songs that I just been recording. I got some battles. I just had a battle on Remy Ma, um, Chrome Twenty Three card. Shout, Shout out to Remy, out to Remy Ma. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Battled uh, uh one of my first dudes. I bodied him three zero. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Y'all niggas talking yeah. about? I, 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 I see, about. I see these bitches making money in battle rap. I am a, I'm one of the greats, so it, it would make no yes, sense yes. for me not to really tap in. So y'all would definitely see me on a lot of cards this year, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I will be dropping music, you know what I'm saying? If you have any um, questions, hit me up on social media. I got my website, shanaashley.com, all of that. Yeah, we Kaya, It's the same. Uh, I got a project dropping called Everybody Can't Come. I don't have a set date mm-hmm. yet. Um, that wasn't a fart. That was a chair. Um, <laughs> 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 All right. I don't have a set date for that, but uh, that's, that's my next we one. We all know in a minute. Uh, I got prior projects oh, out. It's K-Y-A-H underscore baby on all platforms. Don't put no I on my name and don't just put no Kaya. Because I've seen certain platforms putting just Kaya. Respectfully, yes. my name is Kaya Baby. That's you right. Southside, nigga shit. represent you. Nah, I, didn't, I ain't like that. Shit. I appreciate the, you know, but I ain't like that. My name is Kaya Baby. Um, I do acting too. I'm on Tubi, Talk Netflix, shit. Amazon Prime. I was in East New York and CBS, so I tapped mm-hmm. into all of that too. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Tubi too. Y'all gonna stop playing Tubi. Yeah, Same Tubi way we, we independent and yeah. now nah, Tubi get people. Netflix pay us niggas mm-hmm. to make money off what we could have made money off of. Mm-hmm. Tubi make, gives us an opportunity to make money off what we created and made. Mm-hmm. Shit, so stop doing that. When y'all say shit like, oh, that mm-hmm. look like a Tubi film. 
No, it looks like a person who had, didn't have a budget to make mm -hmm. a film. But it's regular films on fucking Tubi. So let's stop, stop with the ignorant yeah. shit. So shout out to them. Um, and yeah, I got a bunch of music about to drop, like she said. Also, we just I'm, I'm outside. Like, there's a bunch of music coming. I said, stay tuned. K-Y-A-H underscore baby. You find it from Stay Tuned, Tap Into The and everything else. Mm. We out. Bust down, rolly for the hell of it. It's my time to shine. Spotlights is my element. Fuck a plain Jane, don't insult my intelligence. I don't plan on selling it, so I don't see the relevance. You niggas having porn shop nightmares. I'm light years ahead of niggas, even on a light year. Don Perry on, stain the laces of my night years. Born poor, but I'ma die rich, nigga. Life's fair.